Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, great. Okay. That's cool. That's, so I just I, I thought I misheard you. Great. Hey, everybody, we're back. We're back. Um, uh, I'm going to have to do this a totally different way. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay. I can no longer see anything, by the way. I can't see you, can't see game, can't see anything. But that's okay. I'll just can be here. Can you see my face that I'm disappointed in you? No, can't but I can imagine it? it. What about this? Oh, no. <laughs> it was so much more disappointing than I expected. <laughs> okay. Can you see the, can you see uh, OBS again? Yes. Yeah, okay, I can now. All right, hold up. Hold up. Well, hold up, Dr. Johnson. You got she struck plan. it big online. <laughs> but no one knows she still is in a farmhouse with her parents. I love it. I would watch that, actually. Oh, oh, okay. What about if I made it native res? Let's try that. How sad. We were so excited to, like, get into this game. No, but and you I don't feel like Frog understand that there hasn't any problem. No, none of this is a problem. You guys get that, right? There's been no problem. <laughs> there's been no, there's been no problems. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, what do you say, Ryan? Yeah, yeah, you're the boss. You're, you're the boss, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see any problems. I don't see any problems. You're the boss. <laughs> you're the boss. You're the boss. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what do you say? Yeah. I don't have problems. You got problems, Jimmy? I got no problems. <laughs> Wait, and you can't clip us anymore? What's going on? <laughs> We're going to get through this together. Okay, which it means feels that... like this is a real middle finger from Frogwares, if I'm honest. <laughs> it... <laughs> it feels like Frogwares knew that we've been ragging on them for a year and a half, and yep. we're finally ready to play the one good game they ever made. <laughs> and they're like, that, you know what? <laughs> we're gonna, they like sent you a little virus. Like the second that you canceled that last save, they were like, are you giving up on us? But they Everything didn't know. we've had together. But I'm coming back. <laughs> yep, exactly. They're like, was this what you were waiting for? Fine. Oh, no. We gave you a scrapbook, Brian, with all of our favorite memories. And you just laughed your way through it. <laughs> You don't deserve crimes and punishments. You laughed at us. We made multiple crimes and multiple punishments just for you, Ryan. Oh, but I love you, Frogwares. I love you. I do. I do. I do. We're like three guys trying to share one windbreaker, making <laughs> games for the people. <laughs> when was that part of the fiction? <laughs> <laughs> that there were three guys trying to share one windbreaker. I imagine it was like in the in the nineties. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh no, Salem! Hot tea. Okay, well, let's try to fix my desktop so nobody sees anything personal. But let's <laughs> Don't also see get anything. the game. Don't see anything sketchy. Ryan had to change his wallpaper because normally it's just a picture of him. He's like, yeah. It's a, and I'm nude. Angles. I'm completely nude in it. <laughs> it doesn't, you can't tell, but there is a mirror in the background. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so then you're like, oh, wait a second. <sighs> Hot tea. Hot tea in motion, Ryan. We're going to have to penalize you. <laughs> yeah, it's usually Ryan on a bear rug. It is. It is that. It all, it's all those things and more. Hot little... tea with Ryan, baby. 
little notes on the side of like jokes he pre-wrote for the stream. Yeah. All those songs, all those songs, those are pre, those have been workshopped. Two, one, two. Hot tea <laughs> in motion, baby. He's getting it piped in on one of his earphones. That's what we can't see when we're normally looking at his desktop. Oh boy. Um, he I'm always to... has YouTube up, hoping that we're on the homepage. He just refreshes and refreshes and refreshes. He's like, but it is a speed run after all. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a speed run, guys. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Okay, don't worry. I'm trying to get the chat even somewhere I can look at it. <laughs> Well, because also... normally on his Pretty wall, sure on I his... said start the game and it did it. <laughs> oh no. Normally on Ryan's desktop, he has little pictures of everyone in the chat tacked up. He's like, this is who I got to make proud today. Yeah. Sometimes I don't know That's... what you look like, but I take a guess and it's like a picture of like Marlon Brando. <laughs> yeah. Good thing he cleared all that away. <laughs> You're right, Salem. It's really been a night of trials and simulations. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I live back here now. <laughs> Ryan! There's the game. Frog Frogwares is like, get off, buddy. All right? Yeah. Yeah. We had several actors play Sherlock. All right, baby. We're ready. <laughs> I'm way back here, and we are ready to play. Yeah! Ryan, it, it's it's Delilah. Ryan's taking some, uh, some callers. <laughs> hey there, Delilah. Are we back? I think we're back. Okay, Ryan, I need you to focus up, Ryan. Why? I need you to really envision all of the hats we can put on, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. Envision the mustaches. Envision the book, the book. You loved the book with I all the menus the you could go through. You got to rally yourself back up on Team Sherlock, Ryan. <sighs> Hmm. It's not. His aroma is familiar. Don't okay. look at the puzzle, Ryan. Not. I know the puzzle <laughs> was frustrating. Don't address the puzzle yet until you're in the right mental state, okay, Ryan? <sighs> okay, I can move the puzzle like I'm supposed to be able to. That's the big. Thing. Okay, okay, we're back. Okay, we're back. Okay, well, and if that's the case, I just want to try one other thing. <laughs> Say that's right. Remember the menus that were available, Ryan. <laughs> Focus <laughs> on the on the good in this world. You're right, of course, of course. I'm um, no, no. Listen, it's just a great night having you guys here, if nothing else. I mean, we can all agree on that. We can all agree on it. I just wish um, I just wish a couple things were a little bit easier. That's okay. You know why it's okay? Because. We're gonna do it together, gonna do it together. <laughs> what said the bird, bird, bird? The bird is the word. Okay, now take that off your the list that was on your on your desktop. Okay. You did that. You did that. Okay. Bit. So now here's the thing. If we zoom in real close, then when I play the game it zooms out a little bit less. So that's fine. Okay. We're gonna dial in the right amount. <laughs> It's finding the now you're leaning into your restrictions. You're using them as as freeing moments. Also, your um the thing that you make right. the thing that you do that automatically says you're live just now in the chat was like Ryan is live, which I think says a lot <laughs> yes. about where we are. It's <laughs> it like now he's ready. <laughs> now, he's now he's ready. ready. Okay. Now we're go. Now, if you were just if you were tuned in for the first two hours of this, that was the pre-show. That was the <laughs> that was the rehearsal stream. That was for just that was VIP access. And now we're live. You know, it's somewhat frustrating when these things happen. But oh, Ashley, God. I wouldn't want any 
to have this trouble with anyone but you in this chat. No. I wouldn't have it any other it's, way. It's the best group to suffer through games with on Friday. It is. Okay, so guess what? This is actually a very easy puzzle. What? Yeah, because when you can move the two pieces, you only have to line up what's left, which is this. Oh. Okay, so now we have, look, that's basically done. All we have to do is put this where it goes, which is right here. Uh-huh, yes. Basically, and this where basically. it goes. Close enough, right? Yeah, okay! This is a coarse tobacco, <laughs> quite strong and very popular among sailors. Oh. I'm sorry. Did it just take us an hour to get through a game where there was like, this sailor has a very specific tobacco. Let me use my memory palace to remember what it was. Ah, oh, yes, <laughs> sailor tobacco. It's very popular <laughs> among sailors. <laughs> Okay. Well, that was certainly worth making the mouse break, wasn't it? <laughs> Do you love my machinations, my little parlor games? I hope you enjoy it. This was puzzle number one of the game, but there's dozens <laughs> more. Yes, I'm Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> oh. I may like not be a big city lawyer, <laughs> but when I see a puzzle, I do a puzzle. I do a puzzle. Oh, God. Okay, we're in it. We're in it. Whatever, I we get it. We control Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Now, okay. is that a wrestling trophy? Is that a wrestling belt up there on the... on the? Yeah, yeah. what's that about? A lot of people don't know that he was... Um, you remember um, Clydesdale Steve, the wrestler? That was him. Oh, wow! Yeah. Fortunately, I had to retire. Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1870. Okay. I gotta say, if you name your ship Sea Unicorn, I do think you're like, maybe it is kind of a fun ship, you know? Yeah. Maybe they're having some parties. Yeah, man, you want to come this to the Sea Unicorn? Is an object was taken. Is that an offensive here. accent it I'm doing? Larger than <laughs> I mean, reconsider it. Okay. Um, hey, nothing in there. What do you think? Well, Mr. Holmes, what do you think? I think he I has think a fucking harpoon in him. And why is that? <laughs> because of last night's attempted break-in. Oof. You've lost me. It is very <laughs> probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? Why return to I like the when they tiny moment of scroll that the Aha. caption does. Like they so just didn't propose? make the box quite big we enough. We shall remain on the outside near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. But well, gentlemen, ready we're kidding pistols. around, but I like we that it doesn't just snap to a different screen with more text. It's yeah. like do 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 a fancy Your brain can time. read it. You deserve yeah. a fancy time. You're right. It's like I'm reading a speech at the Oscars. <laughs> Somebody play Holmes off. <laughs> it does look like a party boat. Don't get out of that tall grass, Sherlock. You're gonna get chiggers. Wee! Oh, what's no, on my leg? Get out of the tall grass. That's... Wee! Get out of the tall grass. Oh, you gotta tuck your grass. pants into your socks. Tuck you your pants into the socks, Sherlock. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that tall grass. Ooh. Now we're gonna do a tick check when he gets home. <laughs> He's not gonna want to. No. Put Vaseline These on it. These footprints appear to be quite large. Mystery solved. Okay. Maybe we can ask the widow more now that we've seen the body. Hey, have you seen that? It's fucked up in there. That guy? That's who you married? <laughs> oh my god, you could do better. Not gonna be mourning him for long, huh? <laughs> what a, what a <laughs> jerk. Anywho, you are single, right? <laughs> Take Here's a pilgrim me. over to 221 Baker Street. <laughs> I'll tell you where to pilgrimage. <laughs> What's going to happen to you and your son, Jim? <laughs> right. Is this your husband's tobacco pouch? 
I'm not sure. No, it's his fish sandwich. What do you think it is? In a very long time. Yeah, Salem, we definitely want to hear about what your fiance made. Yes. Oh, always. Never a wrong time. Absolutely. We're just talking to this old woman about her tobacco pouch. <laughs> the garden is very large. And well you're right, maintained. we did. That is a you very southern thing. I think Chiggers is probably the most southern thing true. that's ever come out of, a lot of work, But my husband yeah. took care of it himself. Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? <laughs> there is a small tin box, barely no, larger than a book. Barely he kept his papers room. there. It should be somewhere in his cabin. Just how you imagined it in your Sherlock vision. Thank you, madam. That's where I get those important papers. In a tin box oh, in a husband. cabin in the yard. I'm just saying there were some signs it wasn't a great relationship. Well, you know. I mean, this is what you do in the 1880s. You put your papers in a tin box and you just go to town. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Remember? Loris turned it into a euphemism, which I also appreciate. I want to see her <laughs> I like to see your husband's sexy. I mean, private face. <laughs> hmm. Okay. What else can we look at? So we have this. We know now that there there were papers that he did smoke, and that there were papers in the box that's missing from in here. Okay. Yes. Ooh, okay. Now, Ryan, don't even don't even dare click away from the game. But I'm gonna describe okay. to you what Salem has brought us. Okay, I'm gonna close Ooh. my eyes and enter my own mind palace, like Holmes. Okay. 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 What is okay. It? Okay. Oh, it's an original game. What? Okay, this is this is so great because this is really in my expertise of things I know how to describe. <laughs> so don't even worry about it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Ryan. Oh, me oh, close your eyes in oh. your mind palace. Okay. And imagine like, first, I'm gonna tell you about the backdrop. It's like, it's gravelly and dirty, you know? Like okay. um, little yeah. pebble, little pebbles on like pressed down oh. earth. Oh, uh -huh. so sharp. But it's, the sun is shining in like a golden hour, so it's like oh. rusty and, and brown and warm oh, colors. Uh -huh. And you, you see, I think what's maybe a pair of legs casting a shadow down onto an object, like you're standing over an object, like it's you standing over an object. And this there? object, it's it's sort of long, it's long, one might say, oh. and it has like tubes and implements and what? Uh, it's like, like a handle and maybe another handle. A milking machine? Is that what we're describing? <laughs> it's perhaps used as a weapon of sorts or not. It okay. could be a medical device. Um, it's but a proton it's, pack. It, Is it a Ghostbusters proton it's, pack? It's in the earth and it has sort of a hook. And you could definitely, I think you could pick that up and use it on you. Very carried around really nicely and cool. Okay. okay, okay and okay, okay, um, okay. it looks, it looks professional it looks exciting <laughs> and this is a and it looks looks a like a hero you'd want to be okay this is a screenshot from a game that salem's fiance made i think so it looks really good awesome well i literally it am terrified like you... to to get out of this game i will <laughs> look at that it looks like you could just pick it up like it looks like a picture it looks you know, it looks so real you're saying hmm the ship's like logs of the sea unicorn. Mm. Hmm. Wow, that's cool. We need to find a good place for an ambush. Oh. Perhaps behind Carey's cabin near the window. Ah. Okay, I think we can actually uh, start our ambush now. Should we do that? Oh, it's a still shot from a game. It's not his game, but he's learning to make games. Oh, okay. Cool. This it looks like... really good. Please, is... please pass on our love. Yeah, please do. 
This, uh, see, Ryan, this is why you need that thing. I don't know which thing we're talking about. I feel like I'm having a crazy <laughs> day today, and everything's a little bit weird. Okay, I'm going to press the hiding place button and see if we can do our ambush. What do you think? Hi, Salem's fiance. We like your game shot. You did so great. We do. Okay, hiding place. Ashley didn't hear the Thanks first you. times I asked the question. That's okay. Well, what was it? Can I, are we ready to do our ambush? Yeah! This conversation was last night. What did we text about that I'm forgetting? <laughs> okay, while you think about how you've disappointed Anne, Laura's asking us to, on a scale of one to 10, to rate these movies. One is no, and ten is absolutely. What are mm -hmm. good movie titles? <laughs> All I, uh, most of my texts to Anne are get out of Florida. I don't think you're giving enough appreciation to Turbo Tammy 2, Turbo Tammy Pulls a Hammy, <laughs> which is 10. <laughs> That's a 10 for me. That's a 10. <laughs> Turbo Tammy pulls an Ami. <laughs> okay, Vampire Taylor the Vampire Taylor is also a 10 for me. <laughs> Vampire Taylor the Vampire Taylor. <laughs> Bullion Cube. <laughs> Don't take my dog. <laughs> Please. Season five all stars. I'm begging you not to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pressing the button. This looks like the okay, ambush. hiding place. Oh, that's funny. Oh, you can find instructions by hitting F1, right? Oh, thanks. There aren't enough sesame seeds feels like a cryptic one. I like that we're still wearing the hat. Me too, even in the cutscene. Shh. Ah. Did you hear that? There's someone there. I'm going to collar him. I'll be right Let behind you. Back. Police! Hold it right there. Hmm. Classic Sherlock taking full credit for organizing that ambush. Yeah. All right, my fine fellow. All right. Who are you and what are you doing here? Like, You're detectives, I lamp? suppose. Uh, you imagine that I'm... We need I'm to get Salem's fiancé in here to relight this I game. I assure you I'm innocent. Innocent? And what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve Shall what I? you had lost after killing Peter Carey. But we were here waiting for you. What is your name? Who's your John daddy? What did we lose? Know, but I, I didn't. Do you deny that you came here yesterday? Oh, no, oh but, this is the initials I, on the notebook. Yes, it, it's just that I couldn't. I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't. I'm not... It's a terrible mistake. Enough. You can explain all of that to the judge. You're Are you going to have to be in a courtroom drama? This is like an what? episode of Law and Order like where now we cut events. to the law, the law team that takes on the case. Here was unnecessary. Yeah. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. I'm sure that we found the right guy in the first five minutes of the case, and that's it. Yeah, that's probably it. Look at this. Break-in attempts. Missing tin box. Yeah. Peter Carey, a non-smoker. Oh. oh, is that what the wife said? I missed that part. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Missing tin box. Why are they being... 
I think because it's like I'm like, oh, can it's we connect no. these two? And it's like, no, you can't connect. Them. No. Can't connect to any of these. Oh. Booms <laughs> and Watson SVU. Oh, I select. Oh, oh, okay, I select. So I'm missing Tim. Oh, okay. So I select it first, then I go. Okay, I. See. So if I select, uh, not Peter Carey, a non-smoker, to break in attempts. Oh no. Missing tin box. No. Well, anyway, can't do any of that yet. <sighs> miscarriage of justice, a crime procedural pageant. <laughs> I'm miscarriage of justice. <laughs> Pretty impressive, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> I like that it's a pageant. I'm all in on that one too. That's a ten for me. Sorry, what did you connect? I missed that part. I didn't look up quick enough. I, I didn't connect anything. I tried, but there wasn't anything to connect yet. Or it didn't seem like there was. Okay. Okay. Oh, that guy just apparated. Good morning, Mr. Holmes. Can I help you? Good morning, Constable. I would like to speak to the fellow who was arrested at Woodman's Lee last night. Oh, Promise not to man. put him under some crazy spell and break him out of prison again. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> about that. The are held in the evidence room. <laughs> A lot of people died. Thank you. <laughs> At least man talk. Mr. Holmes? Police man talk. I'm going to use my policeman talk on him. Oi, <laughs> governor! <laughs> oh, cricket match good, huh? What do you think? <laughs> cricket match good, huh? These are the suspect's belongings. These are the suspect's belongings. A pocket knife. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. A handkerchief with the initials J.H.N. <laughs> Police mouse. The whole story. <laughs> I would watch that. Hmm. From... R. Dawson. <laughs> to my friend and partner, 1883. Dawson. I've seen this name before. Perhaps my archive holds the answer. <gasps> we know where the archives are. We do. The notebook that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. These abbreviations mean something, but what? Okay. So those are the effects of the guys that we took from the cabin, correct? Correct. Well, that hit the uh, suspect, not the victim. Mm hmm J H N um, or whatever is Right. I know it told us. Why to did go he say he was there? Oh, uh, Holmes. Why did the sus? Why did J. H. N. Oh, say he was there? He didn't say anything. He was just sort of like, "Oh, but it's a mistake." I, I'm swear, but he didn't really say his story yet. Locked. Okay. Oh. Locked. It's not quite. It's not Locked. quite, but we're gonna get one. Also, but though they finally got a good translator who's like, "You would say that's locked, not that it's closed." <laughs> yeah. Not that it's closed. Closed isn't the issue. Should we go down to the morgue, even though they don't tell us to? Cheese it, boys! Police mouse, the squeakle. I am. I somehow love it even more than the original. It's going to be a Paddington Bear situation. Jean Claude Van Ham. <laughs> Nobody told me to go to the morgue, but I did anyway. Because that's why you're a detective, right? Yeah. You're not waiting for people to tell you what to do. You're using your imagination. Just once I want to go into imagination mode and it's like, like a pretty lady or like a cute dog or like a, a goofy dinosaur, you know, just whatever it's like coming across his head. Whatever Holmes is imagining. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go talk to him. Or it's boy. him replaying a conversation with Watson over and over again, trying to figure out what he did wrong. He's like, oh, I, Watson thought I was such a jerk, <laughs> but I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, John. Nope, I want to take a look knife. at you, boy. <laughs> hmm, hat. Good idea for a hat. Gonna steal that hat idea later. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's got a great hat. Can't grow mustache. That's a clue. <laughs> Pretty lame. Patch. Not a great patch. But expensive fabric. Mm. On his patched jacket. So he's he's fallen on hard times. Yeah. Elaborate buttons. Say. This is just. This is your vampire tailor at work. <laughs> All right. He's oh, a I... child. No, he's. Well, I don't know. <laughs> we actually don't know how old he is. Callus. Calluses. Scars. He churns a lot of butter. Yeah, that's probably what it means. <laughs> Short sleeves. Oh, he grew so out of not, it. Yeah, or it's not his jacket. Missed one. What do you think? Uh, eyes, nose, hat, hair. I'll make it back up there. Shoes, pants. Is his thumb a different mark? Or is that still the same callus? It I looks like it's... yeah. Oh, go over the thumb actually, I think maybe. Oh, I thought there I thought it came up. I don't see it. Oh, thin neck was the last one. <laughs> All right. I don't know if that means anything. I guess we can review these. Shabby cap, thin neck, patch, expensive fabric, elaborate buttons, short sleeves, callus, and scars. Okay. Okay. Notebook. Does this notebook belong to you? Yes. But where did you find it? I did not know... Oh, I, I I'm thought I'd lost it in the hotel. About. A guy what do these abbreviations mean? <laughs> he oh, brings no. a lady to life <laughs> and you, falls in love with her. If I told you, it would only make things worse. I know what you're thinking, but in the 1800s, it's a new idea. Eventually. <laughs> sea knife. The sea, sea knife. knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, did Mr. Carrie try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. Okay. Gold ring. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I don't I didn't love steal it. it from anyone. Well, I, it has always belonged to me. I think me. it's weird that you can pick what to say, but it doesn't matter. Uh, what do you mean? This happened in the last game, too, where, like, you could pick what you wanted to say, but the order didn't matter, and they were just going to let you say them all anyway, you know? Yeah, it's... I think that it's... It's an illusion of choice. It is an illusion of choice because you do want to hear everything no matter what. But here's, this one's a real choice. It's Yeah, this one's good. You know, but yeah, but I think it's just sort of like, hey, give them something to do. We, we're trying to get our story out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess so. It's not too uncommon. Okay, but you're right. Uh, it's always belonged to me. Okay, well, we know not. it's not always belonged to him because of the engraving, right? Yes. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. Who's the ring's owner? So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. Okay. Father's jacket? No, because the jacket's too small on him. Interesting. So, why is it asking us to do this again? Should we try... Do we... Rings profile of the victim. Why profile of the victim? I'm just thinking out loud. 
Before the victim is an option, rings and gratings an option, father's jacket, well kept garden, tobacco pouch. I think they're giving us like this is all the evidence you have, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we have a heavy gold ring with the inscription from R. Dawson to my friend and partner. I thought he would let us say, your name is not R. Dawson. That's a pretty good indication yeah, but it's not your ring. Maybe it's his, maybe it belongs to him, but it wasn't given to him. Like, it could be his father's or his mother's. Yeah, I, all right, I like that. I like um, that theory. So I'm, now I'm trying to, like, think. John Nelligan is wearing an expensive but worn and nail-fitting jacket. It previously owned someone else, most likely his father. I think that's weird because it's too small for him. Okay, but, uh, yeah, but then if, if that's what, if that's what the game wants to say, then yeah, then that's the answer to the ring belongs to him. Okay, I mean when his father was his age, he was shorter. Maybe, yeah. If it's yeah, if it's his father's old jacket, then sure. Tobacco pouch made from seal skin with uh, was on the table inside Peter's cabin. The initial PCs have been crudely burned into it. A sailor's work. Um. I think his wife said, Peter Carey's wife said that he did smoke, but it, he hasn't smoked since he was on the sea. So this is like an old pouch. There was still tobacco. Okay. Ship's logs, 1878 to 1894. Outline in the dust where the missing chest was. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just going through everything. Sharp knife, large footprints. Well-kept garden. What does it say about the, the footprints? That, they're, that they don't have a boot that would match them? Uh, they're, oh, perhaps I, I could from, find a boot that would match them. Yeah, perhaps I could find a pair of boots that would match them. That's right. Okay, got it. Well-kept garden. The abbreviations that we found in the notebook. With the initials JHN. That's this guy's notebook. I think he's admitted to it. Pilgrimage. Yeah, it is sort of a big sound. Uh, okay, and then we have, we don't have any documents, we have all our conversations. Okay, um, so the ring is his, he says, but we know it's not. And you think it's because I would say of, father's jacket. How does that say anything about the ring, though? I think it would say, like, he has his father's old stuff, so it has his old jacket, he has his own old ring. That's where my brain is going. The rest of those don't make any sense to me. I mean, his father wasn't our Dawson Unless either. Well, you don't know that. It could be his uh, biological father, but he grew up with his mom, and so he doesn't have to take his name. He grew up with his mom. Why does he have all his father's old stuff? I don't know everything about this guy. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I want to try. <laughs> hmm. So this, I think, is actually meaningful. I'm not sure if they let you, if you're wrong, if they let you redo it. I want to see what happens if we say rings engraving again to see if there's more about the ring we can say. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, that was a no. Select the correct answer this time, asshole. <laughs> so, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the Why don't you try, this is just a little hint. Is mine. Why don't you try selecting the correct answer? <laughs> like Ashley said. Oh, were said. we not clear? The option was correct answer. Okay, father's jacket? Sure. It's the one that makes the most sense to me. No, Mr. Nelligan. You're right. I believe no. that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but, but, but how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric Sorry to question that only you. a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You Who do owns a book called Murder, Inc. that she doesn't man, understand? Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else. Most probably... Your father. Oh, I guess now Finn Neff. With your father gone and mm. taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy, like you had to find the yourself a manual job. And it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working. I can tell from the scars. Not very good at it. I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. Except you didn't mention the ring at all. Well, I will see you soon, young man. Please let me go. I'm innocent. I know that's not your ring because it's a bad fitting jacket. Got to go. I'm home. <laughs> what am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Okay. Swift actions. Peter Carey was armed with his knife, but didn't have time to use it. The murderer acted quickly and instinctively. It's true. He had his knife, and yet the guy had time to take a harpoon off the wall and harpoon him. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe the guy was waiting and cabin for him 
Oh yeah, he hid himself behind the door or something? Yeah. Judith Carey says her husband took care of the garden himself, but that doesn't sound feasible. She might be hiding something. Alright. Into the wall. Peter Carey, a non-smoker. Peter Carey had given up smoking a long time ago, but he might still have kept the pouch. Although his wife had not seen it before, she was forbidden to set foot inside the cabin. Yeah, I mean, he also probably just smoked in the cabin. Yeah. Now Why is it unfeasible that he kept up the garden? Now we're, like, real judgy about his gardening skills. We're like, yeah. Peter Carey? He can't grow a vegetable to save his life. Are you joking? This guy's an idiot. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think there might be some classic Holmes assumption that we're just supposed to take as written. I don't know. All right, none of these seem to logically connect to me yet. Do you want to try anything here? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. Then we'll come back later when we... Um... I have more to say. So our task, investigate the murder. Uh, John Nelligan seems not to be a usual thief. What's his role? I think this is pointing out the the infamous tilting a notebook sound. <laughs> yep. Is it too loud? I can turn it down. <laughs> I think yeah, it is I mean, possible that the chat's getting those sound effects louder than I am, but... Chad, do you want me to turn it down? Let me know. Mr. Holmes? All right, the, the Y is um, lit up, so maybe we do have to... Locked. The Y is lit up? What does that mean? Sorry, uh, the, the investigation... Oh, the Y button? Yes, the Y button is telling me I can open up the, the deduction board, which it makes me seem to think I should. Oh. What happens if I leave here? Can I do me now? Talk. Talk. I go back to the crime scene, can I? Ooh. It's loud, but not bothering a little bit. Okay, I'll turn it down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, right, right. Okay, so Salem is reminding me that you can link stuff together wrong and not be repercussed with in the, in the, in the thought notebook thing, so. Yeah, that's smart. We should that's also good. get a hang of it, you know, play around a bit. Okay, well, let's do it then. Um, I'll turn the, it down just a little bit for the chat. Take a couple laps to the garden and just be like, Peter could never do this. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> okay. Do you want yours adjusted at all, Ash? Did it crash? Oh, no. 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 I just went to oh, sorry. I'm just just... changing the, the sound. Okay. Because we're seeing your wallpaper now. Yes, that's okay. Uh, it's time for me. Okay. And I'm leaving. Oh, just, just work again? Okay, good. Oh, except, hold on. Anyway, okay. <laughs> ah, okay, great. All right, so a couple laps. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Peter's terrible, couldn't do any of this. I'm Sherlock Holmes, I love to garden. Peter's I bet you terrible, husband could make a good garden, but he can't. He's a big dummy <laughs> face, and he's dead. He's just still sitting there, huh? This is what you do when you're alive. Your husband will never do it again. His garden sucks. <laughs> Ooh, I want to know, like, what level of rich you have to be that you put, like, a wooden table in your garden. Like a writing it desk. She's sitting yeah. like a writing well maintained. desk. Is, is it weatherproofed? I mean... Yeah, just, like, somebody bring it in and out every day. She didn't seem to think say they had servants. It's a nice land. It's a lovely garden. Not that Peter could ever save no. his life. <laughs> nope. <laughs> hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. 78 to 84. Oh, is his body gone? Yeah, they moved it. That's probably wise. Okay, it seems like they want me to open the deductions, so... Okay. What about swift action and break-in attempt? It shows you at the bottom. So Peter wow. Carey was armed with his knife. He didn't have time to use it. Several unsexual attempts were made to break in. So whoever was trying to break in, in other words, might not have been the killer because they are they clearly were able to get in. I don't know. Okay, sorry. I The game had to snap into clear view for a second, Oops. so now I can read it. 
Okay. 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 I see. I see. Swift. Swift action is what you said. Break-in attempts. Okay. Okay. Several unsuccessful attempts were made to break in. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Try it. Uh, so, are you saying that those are counterintuitive, though? Okay. Yeah. I was just gonna try it. Is see it, if. Is I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it was counterintuitive or if it was secretly somehow made sense. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you don't know whether you're connecting them to be like, this is wrong, so that's a clue, or whether you're connecting them to be like, this is correct, so that's a clue. It supports a new clue, right? Uh, yeah. What about swift actions and pinned to the wall? Because those seem to be like, how did he get pinned to the wall so quickly? Yeah. Okay, try it. Oh, what happened? Whoa, did we do something? I thought I just clicked pinned to the wall. What's this? Experiment required. We need to find out whether an unskilled and untrained man could use a harpoon well enough to kill by fully piercing a body. Experiment time! <laughs> We're calling in a constable for sure. Absolutely. We're definitely like, um, I need to stay hey, Fitz, will you stand in that spot I'm for sure me? <laughs> and then we'll be like, <laughs> we'll be right. <laughs> Did you come up with Fitz just off the top of your head? Because that's a great cop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You said Watson will help us. Oh, it's even better if it's Watson. I kind of assumed Watson wasn't going to be in the game. Oh, right. yes. Get Watson in to do the crime. Uh, okay, can we just go to the map? What was home? the one? Oh, it was Jack the Ripper that had the, all those reenactments yes. who were like, Watson, lay on the floor. Lay on the floor. Lay on the floor like a dog, Watson. This is who you are. <laughs> Mythbusters. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, John. I do think that eating it with the tweezers. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? No. I do think this helps me kind of appreciate it more. I'm really yeah. conscious of my food decisions. A reenactment, then. Whereas I'm just like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible. Watson doesn't know anything about this. Have we filled him in? Has many things. I don't quite follow you. Tell I me, know. Friend, what is the animal closest to man? Morphologically, I mean. Ah, I see the what cobra. you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before. On the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more yeah. pig's throats? He's referencing No. Thank I like that the game that. remembers. I wish to impale one with a harpoon. Oh, wonderful. No, oh, no. Watson, let us pay a visit to our butcher friend in Whitechapel. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. Time to bring back the monkey. And the harpoon? <laughs> one of the harpoons on the wall of black people. That's what I thought they were going, actually, say them. <laughs> What's happening over there? Why is everything really think... breaking today? <laughs> I really think Frogware is like, gotcha. I feel like... I don't know what happened there. Okay. It just... It just decided I wasn't in my in the office anymore somehow, I think. Okay. Watson decided to... Watson's gonna go get a... Oh my stab. god! Oh no! <laughs> oh! I thought it was a pig for a second, but it's Toby! Toby's back! Brave Toby. The best nose in the <laughs> British Empire. Toby's back, everybody. I want that clipped. Ryan, can you remember to save that? Oh yeah, here Brave we go. Brave okay. Toby. Get it, get it clean. Okay. Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. There we go. Uh, what was the right first person Brave. button? Not that. Brave Toby. There you go, Toby. Hey, buddy. What a guy. Did we get to give Toby a treat? What's in our pocket? Oh, we haven't looked Brave at anything in our Toby. pocket yet. The best nose. Oh yeah, in the I don't British know if Empire. we actually have an inventory. Oh yeah, I guess we. Well, the evidence is all listed here. I'm not sure if it counts as inventory or what. Like, I don't know that we can use anything like this without like. An opportunity specifically, you know? So we don't have like matches and a floor rag in our pocket? I don't 
don't think so. Maybe we will later. Brave Toby. Oh! Brave little Toby. It does sort of feel like they asked their fans what their favorite parts were. Because they're yeah. really hitting all of our favorites so far. It's true. What do you think? Should we change it up? Should we go casual mode and take the hat off? What do you think? Or should we keep yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Take the hat off and maybe change it to the, our second favorite vest. Okay. You're right. All the tools we have are in our mind. Yes. <laughs> the full rag is your assumptions. <laughs> <laughs> The floor rag is your rest. Okay, gray suit. Gray suit. Let the hair go free. Right, Matter because so. your wallet's flat. Yep. Yeah. Gray suit, no hat. Aha! We're in oh, the right. He did, he did tell us at one point to check his ar archives. Rings engraving. Okay. Well, what does this do? Blood tests? Research. Vaporization technique. It's like we're on one of those little, like, Belle Beauty and the Beast things. Like. <gasps> we're, on a, we're on a a rolling ladder? Oh. Yeah. All I want in my life is a library ladder. I have a little library step stool. That is not the one I need. It's hard to show you. That is not the one I need. Okay, I think we're like, okay, we're ring engraving. We would want to look in the newspapers. Dawson and Nelligan bankrupt. There's one that makes sense because we have Dawson over oh, here. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Ashley, would you like to read the first newspaper in this game or shall I? <clears throat> Hold on, let me. Me, 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 Will Paul come back as Superman? Will Paul come back as Superman? Okay. <clears throat> the Strand! Dawson and, and Nigellin. Investment? Fund bankrupt. Nigellin? Missing. The Nelligan. Dawson and Nigellin Nelligan. Investment Fund. Nelligan? Nigellin? Nelligan. Uh, Nelligan begin again? A regional banking institution based in Cornwall, has declared bankruptcy as a result of heavy losses in its loan portfolio and has accordingly been assigned for liquidation. It was the 23rd largest bank in Britain and its bankruptcy was the second largest on record. Ooh. The liquidation of the company is a pure catastrophe for many Cornwall families. Ooh. Joshua Nigellin, one of the bankers, has since mysteriously disappeared. He was last seen aboard his yacht, preparing for departure to Norway. Remember, our sailor sailed out of Scandinavia. Oh, yeah. Nigelin is wanted both by the police and his creditors. It's just Two pages, well formatted, yes. fills up the whole page. Like, uh, they did Absolutely. it. Here it is. Absolutely. Now I begin to understand that young man's story but I am still unclear as to what connects him with the murder. It is time to ask him. Okay, that we got a document. So he clearly went, he clearly went because he thought this guy would know where his father is, right? Because his dad's in hiding. I can see that. His dad's hiding in hiding because of the bankruptcy. Everyone's after him, right? Yeah. Okay, so this gives us a little more on each of these guys. I don't think that... What's that exclamation point for? Oh. It means there's new stuff we haven't read. Mm. Peter Carey, okay, we read all this. Daring and successful steel and Wheelander, man of the way of Cedar Corn of Dundee for many re uh, successful expeditions. 1884, he retired and traveled for some years. For the remaining six years of his life, he lived at Woodman's Lee. Oh, okay. Nelligan is approximately 19 years old. He was raised in wealth, but after the, des the desertion of his father 10 years ago, after the bankruptcy, he and his family fell into poverty. He worked to earn money by cleaning fish. Despite undertaking such manual work, Nelligan remains physically weak. No good. <laughs> That's rude. Judith Carey. Judith is from. You try cleaning fish, Sherlock. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Please, it's a hard job. Judith is from the country somewhere near the ancient pine woods of Inverness and Strathaspey in Scotland, where the crested titbird can be found. 
He's religious and undertook a St. James Way pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when she was a young woman. Okay, so that's that. Oh, letters? This is where I keep my no, post. Nothing new. Okay, he wanted us to find a harpoon. That's just like Sherlock has rearranged his office and he's kind of like, oh, you walk in and you're like, oh my gosh, did you... Did you remodel a little bit? And he's like, yeah, let me just show you around. This is where I do my science. <laughs> That's where Toby sleeps. Thank you, oh. my letters. <laughs> uh, I'll show you where Toby sleeps, but he's never not sleeping there, so you can't really see <laughs> No, you get down. That's archives. That's archives. That's archives. That's archives. <laughs> Finally, I got Watson to move some of his books so I could finally have all the archive space I need. Now they're together. Uh, oh, probably needed some space in Watson's room for it too, but. Want to see my hats? <laughs> okay, it told us we have to get a harpoon for this test, so I'm assuming we have to get one of these. That should do <gasps> nice. it. Now I am ready for the experiment. We took it, we're taking it all the way back to Baker Street? Like, can't he just come to us? We're taking it to the Whitechapel Butcher of all places. <gasps> oh, right, because we're gonna impale a pig. Hey, hey, Watson. <laughs> I like that the butcher has a picture well, of a pig up in the office. Like, remember, the that's, a, that's what we're doing it all. That's what we're doing it all for. This is what we do it for. To indulge myself in a little <laughs> yep. experiment. The remember. The challenge of lancing a pig's carcass with a heavy harpoon. A little experiment? Stand aside, Watson. This might be dangerous. I am not well practiced. Oh, he thinks the guy threw it? Yet. Like no, it. that's crazy. Holmes, you should aim for the mark in order to perform the most. Oh, Ryan, you get to throw a harpoon at a dead pig. You control Sherlock Holmes. I control Sherlock Holmes, Ashley. Okay, Watson, get over here. All right. <laughs> I um, missed on linguist saying about the, <laughs> saying about the room door. This door used to just be closed. Now it's locked. <laughs> uh, all right, well, I guess I'll hold my breath. Oh, okay, I see. I, do I have to get it right in the center here? Oh, yeah. Oh. You to tap it. Boom. The harpoon has Whoa, the body, good shot, right? But with insufficient strength yes. to pierce it straight through. So are we proving that it's impossible? We're proving I can't do it. I don't think anyone can. Oh, now you have like a larger target area. Holmes, you should try to aim oh. better. I got a little bit pierced. Oh, you're getting closer, I see. Yeah. I think it is giving me a larger area though to hit. Let's like, he can't do it. No, I think that's because now you're closer, and so it's a, a better right. chance that the that the murderer would get it right. I feel like they were just like, let him win, but I'll take it. This is the best <laughs> possible result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? Throwing a harpoon and pinning a man to a wall requires either exceptional strength and training or diabolical luck. If it was luck, then or a larger field of getting it right in the center of the controller. Well, just a better <laughs> video game. <laughs> all right. But before we go, I, I suppose I'll have to pay for all these carcasses you've happily mangled. <laughs> Very well. Yeah, what are you going to do with that? Of course. I can trust Sherlock Holmes. It is a picture of a pork chart. You cut the cheek is connected to the shoulder. The shoulder is connected to the picnic the picnic's connected to the <laughs> loin rib belly ham and feet everybody picnic a picnic a picnic, picnic he didn't really <laughs> yeah take that back okay let's go back to scotland yard and talk to the boy again Do you think if I have these jelly beans for breakfast tomorrow, that's that'll be like that'll count as my breakfast? Yeah, I think so. 
Yeah, so you were saying this and Anne saying it. Why assume it was thrown? Why You would just run at someone with the harpoon. Yeah, that's what I assumed was happening. That was, you would get a lot more force that way. Put your whole Ooh. body into it. Yeah, and it would have to be not only go through the person, but far enough into the wall that the guy would stay there hanging for like a yeah, day. Yeah, his feet were off the ground. I have heard the story of Dawson and Nelligan, the West Country bankers. Yes, Joshua Nelligan was my father. I am aware that it had a bad. That is ending. a good vest. I'm glad when we changed. When the bank failed, it ruined. I love that vest. Of mm -hmm. Whereupon that's Joshua my number Nelligan one vest. Disappeared. My you father was under extraordinary one. pressure. <laughs> Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. My he father would have been was convinced nine, that he could pay fine. off all his debts yeah, if the luck. creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hamilton. Maybe he hasn't had his birthday yet. In his small yacht, just a few days before an arrest warrant was issued, he left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. Oh. We believe that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on he board. He suspects the captain robbed Thank his you dad for or something. Sorry, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. In progress. You think? Interesting. Joshua yeah, I think Nagan so. Or at Peter least Carey that he was both at sea knows what would have happened. There is mm -hmm. definitely some connection between Peter Carey and Joshua Nelligan's disappearance. Mm. Examine the ship logs, it says. Okay, so we have to go see if we can find anything that indicates uh, what happened in the ship logs. Being able to open the map anywhere, you're just clicking. We're gonna go to Woodlands Lee again. We're there. Video game, Ashley. I do feel yeah, like I feel like we're actually in a game. We're in a video game. We're in a real life video game now, right? This is what it's. This is what it's supposed to be. This is what it could have always been if Frog Wars had just been better to us. I know. It is funny we're going back and forth though. Back and forth. Back and forth. I feel like that is an old frog wrist, and it's a video game trick in general to make you feel like you're doing 1883. something. 1883. Yeah. That's the one I need. I don't mind it, though. It's an adventure. This is the crew list of the Sea Unicorn. Peter Carey, Master. Charles Allison, First Mate. Henry Joy, Second. We're playing over Din all of a sudden. I was going to say, we have been training for this. I know. James Lancaster, Helmsman. Patrick Cairns, Harpooner. Pablo Coventreo, Harpooner. I think those Harpooners are suspicious. Yeah, yeah. Ned Land, Harpooner. Joseph Walker Stewart, John York Cook, Richard Lang Sailor, Simon Week Sailor, Isaac Page Sailor, Will Wright Sailor, Benjamin Tinsley Sailor, Matthew Granger Sailor, Ralph Talbot Sailor, Seth Fallis, Iron Can't wait Tyler, to read all these names uh, with the credits at the end of the game. I, yeah. <laughs> Log notes for June. Nothing unusual. Captain Swap. Hi, hey, Zach. Okay. Zach Zacharias. How are you, sir? There have been no technical difficulties, and we're a lot far away into the game, and everything's fine. Smooth sailing. So glad Log you got here, because uh, nothing special. We haven't killed any time reading about Hallmark movies. <laughs> Log notes for August. These pages have been torn away oh and this canadian pacific that's railway a, certificate it's like a stock note yeah canadian pacific railway yeah, it is. cpr a torn piece from a bond certificate i have seen this abbreviation somewhere very recently there are no three books. ways of discovering what happened in August of 1883. Watson said, help, I need unicorn. CPR. The two of these there must be a connection. speaking with a dead man. The last would be to locate vital witnesses, the sailors involved. In Red the raspberry, sherbet, and Sprite. Oh, that sounds so good, Zach. That sounds great. Oh, and the ninja blunder. Oh. Yeah. Yep, all the candies were as sour as could be. Zach, yep. there have been no problems today. <laughs> There's no <laughs> issue. Ryan's camera has stayed stable where it should be. <laughs> no close up, no sudden close ups. That's what people say to me, Eddie, when they tell them that I like trains. They're like, oh, what are you going to do mouth to mouth with a train? 
Um, see how that... Yeah, no, I get it. Okay, so he said we should try to find other people who were on this ship, and he suggested going to Baker Street, where we can ask Wiggins to help us. Hello, Wiggins. I have got good news, Wiggins. Do we have any deductions we can make here? Pin to the ball, pin to the wall, and strength requirement, right? Yeah, definitely. Boom. Okay, okay, here we go. Our first choice. So, pin okay. to the wall and strength requirement. Do we think feet of strength? It requires a much greater strength than that of the average man to be able to pierce a man's chest with a harpoon all the way through the wall. A degree of skill would most likely be necessary. Two men in cooperation might achieve the same result. Or do we think, lucky throw, there's a remote possibility that an unskilled, untrained man could manage to pin Peter Carey to the wall with a harpoon. I think no way. Feet of strength. I think it's a feat of strength. Log it in. Feet of strength. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what Every happened to Nelligan's father. Every single one of these cutscenes, the them. camera is Let being put in a place on purpose. Harbor. And that is brand new for Frogwares, and I love it. That's incredible, you're right. Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. I think it's Sherlock's but little straggly hairs solution. that are bugging me. There's I'll something weird the about his design. You don't I'm like it? The I don't hate it. This division of Baker Street. This guy has a whole three-eyed play in his eyes. <laughs> Look at him. Yes. Exactly. Believe me, I will see more with. useful assistance from these little urchins than from a dozen <laughs> yard detectives. And makes a good point. Those if it was Cthulhu, we yeah. could. We should. Everything. And we could hungry. start think, All they lack think through is that bus. I'll summon them. How will you do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. I love this. I love his irregulars. Me too. I think that's one of the fun parts of Sherlock. Me too. I don't remember who Wiggins is, though. Who's Wiggins again? He's just one of the Baker Street regulars. Like, he's a boy, I believe, who works for us. Oh, he's the little kid? Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, Look at his gallery wall. I know. He has two butterflies. <laughs> yep. This is a picture of a man making a clock I like. <laughs> um, trying to fix one. Just gonna do a quick checkmate of Watson there. Yep. Um, I gotta say, it's not the most organized archive I've ever seen. Like, could we just put the books that are on the one shelf here, and then put all the newspapers where the books are? As a thought I might have. Okay. Now I think it's still loading. Loading? No, wait. No, apparently this look is just that weird, frizzy, sort of Jerry Curl Holmes, which is kind of nice. <laughs> okay, cool, gonna, cool. I was going to try to change it to a better haircut for you, but they're all locked right now. Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. I have to earn my haircuts and all. I can I can appreciate that. You have to accept that. I'm sorry. Um, sorry, I do want to... Um... <laughs> By age 30, you need a smart army of children in your employ. You're totally right. It's on all those lists. It it's is. like bullet bullet journal every morning, take cold showers, travel the world, have money in your Roth IRA, and also have a small army of children in your employ. Yeah. Now, I don't know if this is relevant, but I accidentally got a Tim Roth IRA. And <laughs> oh, no, Ryan. Every time I try to take money out, he goes, I know you're lying. <laughs> Because he was on that one show. <laughs> I got to tell you what, it's not going to pay dividends, but <laughs> no. it might be worth it still. Uh, all right, well, I lowered that a little bit. So I'm trying to get this white Ryan face. Okay, anyway. That's just your face, Ryan. That's just the no. Harvey potato face we both have. <laughs> Harvey Potato Face. Now, I know you're talking about our mom's made a name, Harvey, but I just like a character named Harvey Potato Face. <laughs> Brave. Is that one of the um, movies that Laura's going to pitch? Yeah. 
Brian, don't tell them our mom's maiden name. Like, I'm gonna break into our bank Sorry. accounts. Wiggins, could you come up? Anne has please? an Eli Roth IRA, so it's <laughs> every time she takes <laughs> money out, like a weird Wiggins, torture I need happens. You to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang. He can, because his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Thanks, Wiggins. Fascinating. Here is Wiggins got an upgrade sailor. too. Yeah. Sailors. Easy. He's it's a child and he's not and terrifying me. Yeah. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Uh, thank you. I'll be there shortly. This, like, symbiotic relationship with the police is suspicious to me. I feel like that is more how the home stories work. They don't usually question him, right? Yeah. I'm sure to try you, Mr. Holmes. I'm sure to try Mr. Holmes, but oh. I was here to do a different character, and they asked me to just do this line for this character. <laughs> well, sir, here's how I normally sound. Hello, I'm Dr. Bill Jenkins. I'm a suspect in Act 3. But they asked me to do a different character voice, so sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes. Oops, sorry to trouble uh. you, Mr. Holmes. I'm in the dark. <laughs> I, uh, I panicked and I went as opposite as possible to the other boys. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to trouble, trouble you, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> Ryan, your, your animations Mr. are betraying you. I really think that your apartment's becoming sentient over there. I do, too. We have a new suspect, Liam Hurt. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved um, very quickly now. Zach, you should know that inside my Great gummy help. bears, I got a free well, pair of tweezers. I don't know why. So now Notice I have to eat my gummy bears with a tweezer. Prowling around so don't night. be alarmed. Do you have him here? Yes. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. Let us hope so. Ah, oh, yes, and one more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, fellow was writing a letter. He's wrote a letter. Mm. Do you have it? Of course. It's in the evidence room. At your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland okay. Yard is a step ahead. It's infectious. Hands lights are mm, against you as well. Taking. Really? Mm, breathtaking. Oh, that's probably a Mr. Holmes. You're just mad because you auditioned for that role, huh? Yeah, I didn't get it. That one's <laughs> I think, well, don't you think, Salem, do you think it would be alarming to see someone eat a, a, a Tupperware filled with um, sour candies with the tweezers? Mm -hmm. I think it might be. I didn't want Zach to have any nightmares. <laughs> he would be in fear of those tweezers. <laughs> What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. All right, so we got a new suspect, Liam Hurtley. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. What did he ever do to Allow us? Me to is it because he was on our list of sailors? No, Sherlock I think he's, he, uh, Lestrade found like him snooping around. Questions. I've already told the police that I've nothing to say, and you're not even part of the police. Precisely. Well, people should say that. And considering your situation, yeah. it might be wise to speak with someone who is, shall we say, shall we say, rather more neutral. You are a suspect in a murder case. He's and definitely doing the full, like, like crime procedural me. stance. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Could you at least tell me who you are and exactly what happened that you should be brought here? My name is Liam Hurtley. That My I name you, is... But you're not getting any more than that. Well, we shall see. That guy talks Jesus. like my Australian accent. My name's Liam Hatley. <laughs> my <accent. laughs> Yeah, that's my, you're right, Anne, that's my interrogation technique. Just eating gummy bears with a tweezers. Oh, that's better, Ryan. Yeah. It's basically a better like... contrast. Did I just turn them both off? Maybe. Is your camera trying to like autocorrect? It's also like zoomed in weird because of the way. That... I think that's why it's worse because it's, yeah. Okay. I just have them off. We'll see how that looks. Let's look at you, Liam. Man. And are I mean... your lights strobing like SOS or something? 
Are you accidentally oh, yeah. sending a message to the people across? No, what if it's like in, in Stranger Things where if you're they're trapped in the upside down, they're trying to send you a message? <gasps> uh oh. Spoiler alert. Old Scar. Old Scar. They call me Old Scar. Old Scar. Nice butt. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh! <gasps> Handkerchief but you know what that is? What are we going to say? Yeah. Incredibly fast strobing. Oh my gosh, that would give me a migraine immediately. Oh, I can't stand that. That's so frustrating. Gardener's hands. Okay. Interesting. Maybe he's gardener. Even, you're right, because we were like, this looks like a gardener takes care of this. And she's like, no, we don't have any gardener here. But, but now look, we have a gardener who has a crested tit, just like his mistress. So she was sleeping with the gardener, eh? Seems like a possibility. What else? I mean, it looks like it says. Yeah, plaid, what's that? Oh. Or stain or something? Yeah, maybe. Oh! Plant remains. Plant remains. Don't feed the plant. That's all for now. That's all for now? No, I wanted to talk to him. I'm not saying another word. Oh. Okay. So, well, according to that guy's, we were just like. I'm Sherlock Holmes. And then we went. <laughs> That's all for now. That's no all for now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, okay. We don't have much evidence on him yet, apparently. Okay. okay. The part of this, I, can't, I mean, I know that this is the I'm mystery, so this is supposed to be the part I can't figure out. What am I but doing it's so here? weird that somebody was, like, breaking in. Uh, we assume to steal those little special word. treasure box. Uh, yeah, I guess. And he expect, or the break-in is that somebody came and expected to find it open. And so they were fiddling with the lock. And that is either related or separate to the fact that he then got harpooned. And that another kid was there to ask him about his dad. Oh, examine his belongings. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the fun part, though. A lot of stuff's happening, and we don't know what's related or what's These causal yet. These are the suspect's belongings. Oops. These are the other ones. Here's the new one. Oh, here we go. These are the suspect's belongings. But you know what I mean? Like, I kind of like being in the dark a little bit at this stage. Yeah, I was just Liam saying Hartley's that's the mystery. Yeah. They had a size nine and a half. Uh-oh. The stains are fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. A pen. Nothing unusual about it. Okay. Okay. Why don't we, what if we go to Baker Street and try to remove those stains see what's under them? Yeah, or go to the place and see if the boots match the earth marks. I'll do that first. Marks. You know, earth marks. That's what uh, we all call the shoe earth marks. You're talking about earth marks are That's easy. A... That movie with uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right. Or earth marks, Jim, the video game. <laughs> it looks like he's running on like hot sand with bare feet. He's like, <laughs> 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 or he like didn't want to put shoes on, and he has to go check the mail, so he's like walking on asphalt. <laughs> right, he's like, ah, ugh, ah. Ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ah. Oh, our earth marks might match. These boots match the footprints exactly. These boots are made for walking exactly. into a murder scene. Oh, plus one. Okay. Okay. Uh, Early's footprints. Yes. No and gardener. No gardener. Yeah. Yes. Yes, we've done it. Judith Carey denies that there was a gardener. Unexplained presence. I mean, I think the explanation is talking for itself, but all right. 
Ah, uh, tricky, tricky. How will we know why he was there in gardener clothes in the garden? Unexplained so far. These footprints appear. Huh, okay. It looks like, like there's still more to do with that evidence. Um, but we don't have... There's two people? Maybe there's another boot, yeah. Alright, let's go look at the chemicals in that note we found. Okay. Don't pay the carriage man! Don't Just once I wanted to flashback and he's reading like Gone Girl or something like you would see on the subway. Yes. And I want some Toby. See, look, I love you go up to the table. It's like, here are the things you can do. Here. Yeah, it's a good, all of these mechanics. I need to prepare really a stuff. chemical agent that is capable of removing fresh ink for this purpose. The chemicals okay. from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. Love it. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Mm -hmm. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Huh. Okay, so we have to start with the blue. Wait, the first thing you do is put them all in. Right? We have to do it in a certain order. First condition. Oh, I all thought... All seven reagents should be used. Second condition. Orange reagent should be the third one oh, I see. in the sequence. Third I see. The condition. bottom part's telling me what the first part is. Is that right? I think so. So then we have two we could do... Which we need it's either going to be green or colorless. Right. Let's try colorless. And then green. Okay. Okay, and then two oranges and a and the last one the colorless. Yeah. It does seem like a real odd choice to be like all these colors chemicals in order one of them has no color we ran out of colors we only know two colors it turns out sorry i couldn't think of we, any we, no something we really right. thought about I it need to start the... okay that didn't uh-oh uh-oh oh i thought we had like melted our whole beaker <laughs> <first>. melted <laughs> the evidence <laughs> okay blue Is there some way we should be figuring this out that we just aren't catching on? Um, I don't know. We sort of eliminated, we're just maybe going by elimination. All right. So we tried green and colorless, right? So you want to try colorless and green? That's true. Although there's also another blue. And we have to use them all, which is interesting. Oh, because... I didn't see that there was another blue. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's seven things. There's, there's six steps, but seven things. And he said all seven need to be used. Maybe we need to do two blues first. Sure. That's blue, blue. Let's try green. And then the orange. Then the other orange. Maybe both colorlesses? That was maybe not right. No, no. something isn't right. Oh, he's... Can you go back to what he said when he described it? Yeah, sure. First condition. All seven reagents should be used. Second condition. Orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue okay. reagent. Third condition. Colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Orange needs to be third in the sequence, and it needs to also come after blue. So it must be blue, blue. Oh, no. See, he said third after blue, which is a little confusing. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? Okay. 
Let's, let's say that again. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Is there a possibility that these two steps aren't, um... Yes. They're the rules, not the steps. Right. Yeah, they're the rules, not the steps, yeah. So blue isn't necessarily first. Right. We just have to make both those things be true. Taco casserole sounds good, Zach. Oh, Fritos too. Great. Okay. Yeah. Third in the sequence after. Taco casserole, folks, feels like it would really hit the spot today. It sounds delicious. What if we started with orange? No, something isn't right. Okay, maybe we always have to start blue beforehand. Okay, what about starting with green? We haven't tried that. Start with green. Then blue. Oh, I wonder if we could be paying attention to this color, too. I'm trying to get it to be that color. Oh, are we? It just looks like a muddy color. Yeah, but we do have orange, which is sort of muddy. And then orange. Don't break. And then orange again, and then colorlesses. Sure. No, oh. something isn't right. Hmm. Pour all the reagents into the flask in the correct sequence based on the rules shown in the paper. Yeah, I knew that. Is there a way to know more than that? We have to use all of the reagents. First condition. So try! All seven Chris reagents of course has should it. be used. Oh, they're gonna have Second a condition. <laughs> Orange reagent <laughs> should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Okay, if I give you a sequence, will you try it? Yeah. Okay, try colorless. Colorless. Try blue. Try uh, green. Try blue. Oh, that's totally. I totally appreciate you doing it, Chris. I'm just. Uh, mo I was meant to be self-deprecating to us, not anything about you. Although you're very. Try good. orange. Then the other orange. And then the color. No, something isn't right. <gasps> got really close. I need to start the reaction so close. from the beginning. Again. So maybe you just switch those other the orange last two. Colorless I don't know. Orange. Yeah. Does it cut? You? Are we sure it cuts you out at the point you do it wrong? It must do that, right? I think so because it's cut me out after only two before. Okay. What, what was your do your okay, sequence great. again? Colorless. Blue. Green. Oh, yeah, good point. Although, I don't think... I mean, is it saying all colorlesses have to happen after all oranges? That's the confusing. Oh! Oh, no, I did that right. Blue. Blue again? Yeah. And then, what I did last time was orange, orange, colorless. So it must be orange, colorless, orange.
No, something isn't nah, right. He let us get all the <gasps> way through. To start the reaction <laughs> from the beginning. But again. it crossed out. It crossed out orange and then colorless. So I think the fact that we did yeah. orange at the end was wrong. So it seems like maybe what's your let's do your whole thing again except that colorless you had at the beginning. Let's move it to the end. Okay. Great. So it's gonna be blue. A uh, green. Blue. No, this might not work. Because we might break that first rule now. Orange. And then that. It always lets us get that far. So then... Yeah, orange, colorless, colorless, you think? That's what I would try, but I think we might have broken that sequence up top. Although maybe... No, yeah, something yeah. isn't right. I need to well, start the reaction from the beginning again. We haven't gotten to that part yet. Really? What is it again? Maybe the cross-out is just a general cross-out. Maybe yeah. it doesn't mean to be... Open. First condition. Yeah. All seven reagents should be used. Second condition. Orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent third condition colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent let's add green at the end because there's no rule about where green goes okay yeah i would also you could also add it first yeah we could add it first but i feel like um we've been doing something a little similar to that like and the thing it's been upset about is um, well, I guess we could have a first thing would still work. You did an yeah, that's orange what I thought was and another. Oh, colorless must follow orange directly? Because after doesn't mean immediately to me. First condition. That's but what I, guess based I on tried to do. The, should be used. That's what I tried to do the Second first condition. time, a linguist. Orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. I Third I think. Can I give you another colorless sequence to try, right? Should be added after okay. the orange reagent. So colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. It doesn't necessarily mean all colorless comes after all orange. It can. It just means if if there's an orange, there should be a colorless after. It, I guess. Anyway, go on. Yeah. Okay. Will you try uh, blue? Green. Blue. Orange. Yeah, orange. Colorless. Colorless. Yeah. I see what you're doing. And then orange colorless. Right, 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 right. I think you're right. Nice, Ash. Now I can proceed yes. further. Nice. Is that what you figured out, Odd Linguist? Let us see if the content of this letter sheds a little light upon the mystery. No, I think we were on the same... That was good. We were on the same thought, Odd Linguist. I would like a little 3D movement you get there. Look at you! You're using the tweezers you found in your gummy bears. <laughs> nice. Well done, guys. I, uh, I caught on by the end, but you guys had it. I think this is not how like important historical document restoration works. So if you have found like a letter from Abraham Lincoln, don't just I wipe a like dish towel well. all over it. But I put colorless after blue. Why did I ruin the Declaration of Independence? <laughs> <laughs> I did as you asked and hid them well, but I beg you to reconsider. Ian, I swip and remember our vows. I have done nothing dishonorable for which you may. Mm -hmm. Liam Hurtley. Hurt, Lin, Liam Hurtley's letter. Liam Hurtley's the suspect. <gasps> Hans got some Friday night dunkaroos! dunkaroos. Friday night dunkaroos! Friday night dunkaroos! Friday night dunkaroos! That sounds really good. 
Do we know anything about Liam Hurtley again? Liam Hurtley. Hurtley is a stranger who was arrested by the police as a suspicious individual seen prowling at night near Woodman's Lee. He's a former soldier who left the military with an honorable discharge after having been wounded in the neck by shrapnel. Now he lives a quiet life. That's his red carpet photo, right, from Kent's. Yeah, it does look like it. It looks like like <laughs> Christian Bale would totally wear this, and it would be like, I guess that's just in style now. Yeah, totally. It's a really, like, um... He looks like, uh... Daniel J. Lewis. Yes. He does. In any part. In any, literally any part. Okay, I did as you asked and hid the we and hid them well. I want to connect that Liam Hurtley's letter to the missing tin box. Yeah, I think so too. Oh no. Oh, the notebook. Breaking attempts to the letter. Does he hit it? Yeah, I I hid them well. No, no luck. Okay. Maybe we just don't know yet. It was the last one I tried. What was it? Break in attempts with the notebook, I believe. Oh, didn't I say that? I did say that. It wasn't a question. I was making you feel better of not listening to me. Hey, I said that a second ago, and you ignored me. <laughs> yep. Well, the game crashed in protest. So oh, no. Don't worry. You were you were right to uh, be worried. I or maybe oh maybe I don't know if I I thought I did exactly what you said, but maybe I um, did the letter instead of the notebook. Okay. Like the story. Luckily, Frogwars has figured out autosave, so this should hopefully be okay. Yes. Now we know that sequence; it can't stop us. No. These are sour, unlike your grape. I've stopped even eating. I mean, they're fine, but I wanted something sour. It's just not fair if you call it Sour Patch Kids. And Why I'm is that a trend? Really like really serious about this. <laughs> oh, I feel like we got to do a little digging into the not so sour. I know. Like, was there a lawsuit? It's too long. Oh, it hurts. It hurts my face. That's some guy. And the court was like, we ruled in order of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, break in attempts. No. Nelligan's notebook with Hurtley's letter. That's what you wanted to do? Sorry, I, um, uh, notebook and letter, yes. Well, that's wrong, because I did try it. Oh, now against notebook, the break notebook. in attempts. I don't know, that's what it was. Um, sorry, I googled, what did I, let's see, what did I type? I typed in not so sour patch. And the first thing that came up was, what is sour patch saying? That's a Google question. Yeah. Oh, they're asked sour than sweet. Got it. Um, they're not very sour. I mean, let's see. I'm just gonna suck on one for a second. This is what I've. <laughs> Great. Okay. This is good content. <laughs> I mean, barely. It's barely tart. Ugh. I mean, yes. You wish you had Salem Super Sour Soda right now. Of course I do. I mean, these are terrible. <laughs> uh, oh no. I'm not gonna have any more of them probably. <laughs> and they're all grape. I know. Uh, they are pretty good actually, the grape part. Okay. The breaking attempts were made in order to recover the notebook that had been lying in the pool of the victim's blood. Thus, this proves the guilt of the person who made the breaking attempt. Says, says Holmes. They're called Very Bad Kids in France, which is a pretty great translation. I love that. Very Bad Kids. A new suspect, but this one refuses to talk. 
This case is more interesting. Yeah, yeah. Whenever wants him. He's reading something. What's he reading? It's like I think the oh, the notebook that we have. Oh, is he? That's he's reading good. Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment. He does have quite a, quite a gangly run. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Please escort my friend, Mr. Murder. All right, Woodman's Lee in general. Tell me, Mr. Hart. I think we're bringing people in based on their hats Woodman's so we can Lee. steal them. Yes. Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. Oh, idiot, we, you, we're found there. Uh, okay, so what proves that he's been there? I would say Hurtley's, Hurtley's boots match is our most conclusive proof here. Yeah, I agree. The second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested perfectly match the footprints found near the cabin where Peter Carey was murdered. Footprints? <laughs> That's your proof? How many men have boots like mine? That doesn't make me a murderer. Oh, that's true. Well, I should go. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? Gardner. Because you are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. I'm no longer paying attention to this I'm game, not. and I'm only now, paying attention to the fact that I observed your hand. You can apparently build your own Sour Patch mix earth. and order it online. So counts, you put in all your favorite your flavors into a bag and you get to name it and then wow. they ship it to you. Can you make but it actually sour? Presented itself I think so. Oh man, I do want to do that. A crested tit, if I'm not mistaken. All right, all right. All right, should gulp me. Yes, I am but a white guy, pineapple's out of stock, right? I went friend. there to get my tools. Oh. Well, I do like pina colada. I can't find any language about why they started to make not sour sour patch kits. It seems just like they're trying to like, you know, diversify, but yeah. they're not doing it right. Well, I'm gonna get some more soda and think about what I've done. Okay. I don't think you can hear him, but he's bragging about his automated lights, which is dangerous because he's sitting in a room whose automated lights have revolted against him. So I think he needs to take his smug level down. <laughs> now, he's, now he's being attacked in the other room by his lights. Ryan says that uh, his last word should be that he hates the stream and he never loved any of you. <laughs> that's what he said. He said that's those are the words he said. And I'm sorry you had to hear it. How dare you? <laughs> oh, said, siblings patch kids. Siblings did say patch kids. We sour blinks. That's, <laughs> that's what we'll make. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I can't tell how much they can hear and not hear. So I will continue to translate it perfectly accurately and not at all for comedic effect. To me, the funny part of the bit is that you have to translate it. And so I will keep doing it for that reason. <laughs> Great. I'm contractually out. It's law. It's state law. It's state I have to law, do it. says Dave Fulton. <laughs> so tell me, Mr. Ooh, Patrick, yum. A free find? carrot cake muffin. What are you talking Your about? Your Monday's starting off great, Charlanis. Also, thanks for thanks for taking us to work every day, every Monday. Yeah, I'm honored. Free hall cake. <laughs> I did I cake. You, you got free oh, hall cake, Charlanis. Well. Should I continue? My letter, but the ink. That's impossible. A touch of chemistry, nothing special. Well, he's bragging. You're a smart one, but it's nothing 
If you want to know, it's nothing. I was referring nothing. to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? I will check that, Mr. Hertley. So do you think the letter is from stories are full Lady leads, Sailor? But now I Sailor's know wife? one thing for certain. I see it. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept at Woodman's Lee. I'm not saying Do you think the police word. are ever like, hey, do you want to update us on your investigation? Oh, okay, bye. Okay, bye. You, you can have you can have access to that crime scene. Oh, okay, bye. We, we actually already talked to him. Do you want to know? We sent it. Oh, we didn't know. Uh, no. Fine. What did he tell you? Nothing. <laughs> did you notice his hat was dirty from woods that could only be found in the north of London? No, I thought it was afraid just... of chicken. I, I didn't know. I never would have guessed it. <laughs> okay, goodbye. No, goodbye. Ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, it's so sunny. Oh, I sure not. Go, 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 no, I don't know anyone like Romantic. That. What if I was, um, if I can, if, let me, like, get the exact right shot. Does the okay. name Liam Hurd mean anything to you? How's that? That's good. You did it just right. <laughs> I liked your sort Madam, of floating. We have information. You also did the sort of, like, sort of bob. Yeah. <laughs> amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Oh, my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. Here is the key to open it. Here is the key, but I'm so small and sad. Thank you, madam. <laughs> it's like the Muppets. They, like, say they're passing something to each other, but we just assume it's off screen. Yes, it's like that. Like, there's, like, they don't show either hand, and then the guy who's supposed to have it just already had it. <laughs> A Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock. <laughs> Let's see. What is this Fraggle Pepper is for me? <laughs> that's exactly the moment I'm thinking of. This, they have a lot of shacks on their property. Yeah. Oh, you hit it well, did you? Well, I found it right away. Feel fitting plank. Sherlock has well honed his detective skills to find all ill fitting planks. <laughs> he did two years at a carpentry school for this. Yeah. <laughs> He's less of a detective and more just like a plank. Placer guy who knows how to. The home inspector. Yeah, that's a funnier than plank Let's placer guy. <laughs> I think you're right. But to be fair, he's he's more like a plank placer guy than a detective. So you were still right. All right, I'll take it. Um. Uh, okay. And then what do I? Oh, okay. To make I a complete line. Oh, I, I see. see. Ah, I see. Okay. So that works there, ah. but now if I rotate it, oops, if I rotate it all, I have to make it work every, oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> okay, well, you did it. Got lucky. A bundle of letters in a woman's letter. hand with the Carey family monogram. Hurtley and Mrs. Carey A bundle Carey of letters in the in woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. That is interesting. <laughs> That's how he warms up. These are in a woman's hand, Ashley. You should read it. Dear my dear, I have been... I'm trying to sound as tiny and uh, willowy as she is. Yeah, can you tell a little I more willowy? Have... <clears throat> Get close to the mic for you. Uh, oh, oh, I have been so good to me all the time. But I have I have you. been so good to me? Is that what she wrote? That can't... I cannot describe these feelings, but I suppose that they are... Sinful oh, and no. no good come from them. Oh, I feel what might happen. I feel going against God. Oh, no. oh, I Jesus. thank you for your care, but I cannot leave the man with whom I have bound. My God, oh, oh. it is his divine will. 
us, my husband, is the cross that I must bear. Oh. He makes my life a living. Hell, <laughs> but bruises fade, and you must not worry for me. Oh, poor willowy Mrs. Carey. She was more cold than anything. I think. Yeah. Except when she heard about the sin and that she was like, <laughs> sinful. <laughs> and it was funny. It was funny the way it levitated. You're not, you're not too wrong. <laughs> Aha. What about you and Liam Hurtley? Madam, I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? <gasps> Outline in the dust. Oh, that was just where the box was stolen. Romantic uh -huh. correspondence is probably what I would think. Definitely. Mrs. Carey. Mrs. We found Carey. Your Mrs. Mrs. My Carey. Mrs. I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? I, I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him. Not after what happened. Mrs. Hurley, you're well, leading us up the garden shed, aren't you? This is terrible, <laughs> terrible. Liam, how could he? I, after what he has done. You believe that he killed your husband? No, I do not know. I do not know. Leave me alone, please. Oh, Mrs. Carey. Thank Mrs. you, Jim madam. Carey. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find Mrs. any Hurley. sailors. <laughs> Mrs. Carey, do you think Wiggins has managed to find any sailors? Can I sit in your lap and talk about it? <laughs> Oh, it is Mrs. Perry. What's this little like bird bath thing? I don't mind her. Uh, oh, the water goes down. Oh, I see. It's like a home irrigation oh, system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's pump like... it, and then the water goes downhill to the garden. Yeah. Wow, they do have a good gardener. You know what? They're right. Yeah. He could <laughs> Black never. Peter definitely could never have done this. Yeah. What did he build himself now? Okay. Um, let's go back to Baker Street and see if Wiggins has anything to say. New deductions? <sighs> Judith Carey's confession. Judith Carey's letter. Lennon, my dear, confession. Desperate jealousy. Liam Hurtley loved Judith Carey, so he desperately, the jealousy could have provoked him into committing murder. Ah, okay. two things connected in here. Desperate jealousy and unexplained presence. Hartley's motive, Liam Hartley's relationship with Judith gives him a motive for killing Peter Carey. Okay. That doesn't mean it's true, but Judith. it's an option. Judith! <laughs> Judith, Judith. But she didn't want to, she ended things with him, right? Well done, yes. Wiggins. Well, or she Let wanted to. Or she says she wants to. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got some sailors here. Ew, Pattins. James Lancaster. Okay. I mean, we got to go talk to the harpooner, right? Yeah, Patrick? that's the one we have to. Ours. This man is a harpooner, and his initials are PC. Oh. The same initials. Oh, I forgot about PC. On the tobacco pouch. We assumed it was Peter Carey, but it could have been his. Wiggins. We didn't believe it, her when we said he didn't smoke. That you found? His name is right. Patrick Cairns. Sometime later. Cairns. We found Patrick Cairns. Good job, Wiggins. Where is he? He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's always at the Sea Witch Pub, where he does arm wrestles for money and Man, drinks. I want, a, I want a group Excellent. of urchins who can find Here's anything. Reward. Two guineas. I know. Thank you, I thought sir. you were gonna say uh, you want to be known for hanging out at the Sea Urchins <laughs> Pub where you, you are wrestling actually. competition. <laughs> I do also want that. Uh, let's see. Break-in attempts could also go to Liam Hurtley's letter. He was trying to break in. No. To get the I'm gonna try anyway. Oh, to get the letters to get the letters back? Yeah. No, because the letters were under his shed, not the um not the husband's shed. 
Yeah, I guess that's true. At first, I was at first I thought that was the box that was in that room, but it, that wouldn't make any sense. So you're right. Okay. Um. What do I do now? Oh, am I walking by myself? John Nelligan seems not to be as usual, not the usual thief. What is his role? Investigate the murder of Peter Carey. I'm supposed to see the Harpoon Boy, but I don't have any space on my map to do it. Harpoon Boy? Yeah. Maybe I should go to Scotland Yard. Maybe we needed to make a deduction. Yeah, maybe. I'll look again. All right, what do you think? Patrick Cairns. Whoops. Why is it? Why does it do this? Like, why does? Oh, do the non. Yeah, do the non-smoker. And oh, Cairns. yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, that's a good idea. You, we even said it. We just didn't physically do it. You're right. Uh, if the pouch belongs to Patrick Cairns, it indicates his presence at the crime scene, but it must be proven. If I wish to speak to Cairns without alarming him. I had better dress as a sailor. Look, this like ice cream salesman. What's he doing in there? Did someone steal his scoops? Okay, two things. First of all, that's hilarious. And I'm glad you said it. <laughs> I want to get a good look yeah. at this ice cream like boy. <laughs> look, we're best friends. We're standing so close. Oh, hi. Boy, that's great. Second, I know that sometimes you just totally space out. But Holmes literally <laughs> said, if I'm going to blend in, I better dress as a sailor. And you did not respond whatsoever. No, I don't listen to any scene change words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, re I refuse to listen to scene change words. <laughs> it wasn't really a scene change, but I guess so. If it's happening over a transition, I'm not going to hear it. Okay. You know what? That's good to know for my job, too, actually. Thanks for that. I should make some changes Just to the so you game. know. My brain's somewhere else. That's fair. Okay. I'm gonna dress as a sailor. If it's not tied to something I'm vis visibly seeing, then I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I get that. But I think that's more about me watching you watch a game and less about yeah. the game. That's not the game's fault. Right. And it's certainly not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I'm firing in all cylinders. <laughs> I'm, I'm peak gamer mode right now. I know, I know, I know. I, I would mean, never say otherwise. Dare I say, this might get us into a speed run. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, here we are. This is the, at least the third time we've tried on a mustache. Like, oh, who has played this game better? No Not one. anyone. We might go down in history. Trials and Simulations is the best run of the game this one right here that I definitely remember the name of, Crimes and Punishments. The Man, I think you're right. I think we're actually experts at this. We still have the nice little veranda from last game. Are we wearing our little, is that our sailor outfit? Our sailor outfit. <laughs> With our handkerchief. I know. Sorry, I also missed that Laura said that when the harpoon boy said, as you wish, what he meant was, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, chat, chat knew it was sailor time. I missed it totally. Well, that's okay. <gasps> oh, Do you this... hear this, like, honky clock music? Yeah, the little the harpoon, or rather, the, sorry, harmonica yeah. is what I meant. Harmonica, yeah. Listen, the harmonica is great, but is it possible that this is upgraded champagne? <gasps> I can't quite see him yet. He's still a little blur in my screen. Yeah. Come on, champagne. <gasps> it is, I think. You think. Look at that hat. Unmistakably champagne. I think that's a new champagne. Beep, beep. Oh, beep, beep. I can't I wait love... till he it feels like rents they did us this... a boat or tries to sell us cash. Beep, beep. beep, beep. Yes. I kind of love that they took <laughs> all of their old character models from like way back to the beginning and have been just updating them a little bit so that it looks like the same characters are in London. Yeah. 
Maybe. Laura has says that that's Mervo, which is also it's not not that's true. That's actually think, Mervo. <laughs> I think Champagne and Mervo are of the same plane. That's true. This Shut feels like that, that scene in Monkey Island. Yeah. Yes. So we're just like flip flopping it around this place. We're like, I'm a sailor. Hello, I'm a Hello. sailor. I'm not Sherlock. I'm a sailor. I put on a handkerchief. And everybody is like, is that Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> <laughs> Gonna look at all the little nitty gritty corners. Is this my friend Champagne? <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like we're being so obvious. Hello there. Are you Cairns? What are you Cairns? What do you want? Well, you've heard all about the gambling and arm wrestling here. Is he doing you seem Australian like the likely sort, and I'm up for it. I start at ten shillings. Suits me. We're gonna arm wrestle this sailor for information. Follow his facial expressions to understand his moves. Push, restrain, idle, and plan your counter strategy. It's like a rock, paper, scissors. Pay attention to your stamina. We're gonna like okay. poker. We're gonna poker him. We're gonna see his tells. What are you doing? Or, or what trying. are your controls like? Okay, it's, it's, oh, oh. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Uh, I have right trigger and, and A. You either push further or like try to hold him where he is, I think. Okay. Yes, you're doing great. I have to push, push. No. You're doing great. Is this using stamina? I think. Or Wait. Push? No, actually, he's winning. He's no, winning. He... You're doing terrible. No, he. Well, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> oh! Wait, is that our? Is that our stamina or his stamina? <laughs> it's Mark's our stamina. That's the arm that killed him. Oh. Wives. Care to lose another ten shillings? Whoa, sure, hey. it's probably Watson's money. It is. I'm sure Holmes stole this from Watson. I'm ready oh, to try no. again. Fine. I'm ready to try to again. You, honey. <laughs> Sorry to you, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> so what do I do? Follow his... Okay. Push, restrain, or idle. I wasn't really ever idle. I probably should have been idle more. Plan your counter strategy. So if he's pushing, I should restrain, I assume. I don't understand how you're supposed to watch his facial expressions. Yeah. Is he going to like wink at you every time? Oh, but his his eyebrows furrow. Is that when he's having a hard time? Maybe. Oh. They're both just kind of making like <gasps> struggle noises. He's not like, oh my arm! I hope no one pushes me to the left. Yeah. And his lip curls, is that a tell? Maybe. If you see a tell, let me know. I don't know okay, what I'm Okay, eyebrows furrowed. Maybe you push whenever he shows sign of distress. Yeah. So push now? I was uh... holding to restrain. How do I lose then? Am I not holding to restrain? Well, apparently you're still playing. The game just wanted you to look deep into his eyes. I guess. Now can you A? You can't A? You can't push? I can A, but I'm gonna run out of stamina if I do. There we go. Maybe I should never restrain. Just be your full Sherlock. Yeah. Let my stamina refill. I'm gonna push, 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 push. And if he starts fighting, I'm gonna restrain. Restrain, restrain, restrain. Now I'm gonna let it refill. No, restrain. Let it refill. Push, 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 push. Restrain. Let it refill a little. Push, 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 push. Restrain. Okay, you're doing doing good. Oh, he's gonna get me there. Time. Okay, 
Let it go, 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 let it go. Bush, 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 bush. Restrain. Trelanus is proposing a world in which a passerby just sees you two lovingly holding hands and is like, isn't that nice? He found love. That's too long, Sherman found love. <laughs> now, Anne wants you to push S to consume spinach. And have you seen if that's an option? Have you tried it? Well, I am Sherlock the Sailor Man. <laughs> Okay, don't do anything. Restrain. Okay, I'm just gonna restrain until I get my things back. Restrain. A. Restrain. Now push. Go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. I hope this earns his respect or something, whatever we were supposed to be doing. Yeah. I think it's a stalemate, guys. <laughs> do it. I wonder how long the game will let you do it for. Great sweater. It's a really good color. It is. He looks great in it. That beard. Look at the high quality beard. That. Yeah. Strain. Straining. It's good that Sherlock didn't wear a fake mustache because I feel like the sweat would have really yeah. built up. He could have lost. Slide right off. Like, imagine you've locked eyes with your <laughs> your uh, arm wrestling partner. <laughs> Anne says, if you do this long enough, you're common law married. Obviously, from this side, tell what you're doing. So it really just feels like we're all quietly watching these two just hold hands. <laughs> it's a nice moment for Sherlock Holmes. It's just, you know, reminds us all to slow down a bit, enjoy the simple things. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing either. <laughs> I'm letting it. Okay, push, 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 push. Just end this. <laughs> Oh, there does there is a skip button, but I think I don't know if that just gets you. I don't know if we get any information if we don't do this. I think we do. I think all the puzzles can be skipped. But I am gonna win. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I'm so close, Ash. Look, I'm getting my side of the view. <laughs> Salem does point out that it sounds like you're both trying to deliver a baby. There's a lot of yelling of the of push and a lot of grunting. <laughs> There's a lot of beep beats in, in solidarity, Ryan. You oh, can do they're it. Kissing. Oh, they're kissing. <laughs> I always forget about oh, they're kissing. Okay, we got to get back to that to that hero shot of Sherlock. We got to see who's he's winning. Oh, oh, oh. I seem to remember doing this a long time when I played the game first, too. I seem to remember you've done it for a long time, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I think you're doing it right. I mean, I guess there's a world in which you, if you, oh no, don't stop now, but. I wonder if you sit back down and you, because of what you've learned, you can like win it faster. Yeah, but I think I'm already like, Good, 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 good. Yes, okay. all good content. Good content. <laughs> it's good content. That's what the people want. 
on a Saturday morning. Is this uh, more or less fun than a math puzzle or an anagram or a chess piece puzzle? It's gotta be a little more, <laughs> right? <laughs> Okay, I, I feel like there's... Now push. Nope, now restrain. He looks upset, so push. Nope. Text, great show, love it, if you thought it was a good bit. <laughs> and text, uh -huh. uh, not as good as snack chat, remove the space, if you don't like it. <laughs> I think that's one of Odd Linguist's favorites, and you're right. It they is, call it him Sherlock, <laughs> this master is of the night. I'm the protagonist! <laughs> Everyone. Totally winning. That Dustin Ice one. Laura <laughs> Laura spent a lot of points on that Dustin Ice. It's like 10 points. It was worth points. it. <laughs> oh god damn it. Oh no. Okay, this time I got it. That's the arm that killed a hundred whales. Care to lose another ten shillings? Okay. We're upside okay, down in do Terry Garrell's game. <laughs> 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 keep whispering <laughs> and I'll try it. If you want me, I'm an idiot. <gasps> I'm an idiot. We could, we could have. What's the exit? Oh no, I don't. Want to... We could actually have have looked at him closer, and I didn't. <gasps> oh. Okay, what are you yeah. gonna find? Like he has eczema or something? So if yeah. you like put your finger in his rash, he'll <laughs> <That's> <laughs> be weaker. I know, I'm not gonna put my finger in his rash. That's not what it is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I haven't looked at him yet, Ryan, have I? No, you haven't yet looked it. at him yet. <laughs> Yeah, you just want to take it one more time, Ken? <laughs> <laughs> hey, strong Cheap hands. Clothes. Yeah. I want a man with a strong hand, Watson. Yellow nails. <laughs> Cheap clothes, strong hands is also this guy's Tinder profile. <laughs> Very good time, <laughs> call Mervo. <laughs> Oh man. That that totally says gold earring. Okay, there it is. That didn't help me. Okay. Okay, let's do it again. I got it this time. Okay. Alright. Here we go. To try again. All right. Really Fine. look into his eyes. You want me to take all your money? This guy has a whole three eye play in his eyes. <laughs> look at him. Exactly. Okay, exactly. I'm, I'm using it too much. Here we go. Press to continue. Okay, he's neutral expression. If I press All right, now, you're in, you're in, you're in. It goes a little. Now he's straining, so I'm going to restrain him. Now I'm going to let it go so I can build up my strength. Now I'm going to push a yeah. little. Oh, oh, we got restrain. Sherlock Cam there. Restrain. Okay, let it build back up. If I have low stamina, I'll never do it. Push a little. No. Push a little now. Okay, no restrain. Restrain. Build up your stamina. Don't rush it. Here it comes. Push, 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 push. Oh, no, okay. Restrain. So close. You're so close. Build it up, build it up, build it up, buttercup, build it up. Push, 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 this push, drum push. is the drum solo is quite a thing. Oh, oh, yes! Yes! You were lucky. I wasn't focused. We wear hats. Again. We, we win our wrestling. Hats. We're the we wear hats. We wear hats. <laughs> we wear hats. We wear hats. Does he we want me to? Wear hats. Do I have to do it again? I'm ready Is it to best two out of three? Fine. If you want me to take all your money, uh -huh. no problem with that. Let's do it one more time, I guess. He 
you have to win? Twice? I don't know. Mm. Or were you supposed to lose? I've tried that. No, because you lost. You lost twice, so. Mm. I won't do that. I won't do that. <laughs> I think you guys are finding the deep cuts now. Let it fill up. What was this guy's? Push, 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 push. Aarons, C I R N S. Aarons. He's got a real, like, Sean Bean vibe. He does. He's going to die in the first act. Yeah. How did knowing that he had yellow fingernails help us in this? Maybe that's for later? Are we gonna like pull his gold earring out? Self defense? Yeah, yeah totally. Well, good for you, I reckon. <sighs> You're stronger than you look. Here's your ten shillings. Here's I'd like your to ten buy shillings. you a drink. Good winner as well. That's good. Let's have a drink. Yeah, we're both. We are a date now. Yeah. So, you do want a family? You're a good type. Seems <laughs> you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? What do you Not do with a drunken me? Am I right? Oh, well. <laughs> At least you're not as poor anyway, as so I live with me, mum. <laughs> Why do you Yellow say nails equals smoker. Interesting. I'm a harpooner. Oh yeah, you see, true. The whalers are rare. They don't pay much. So as a result, point, find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. A harpooner. Interesting. You've had a lot of adventures. I barely knew her. I barely knew her. I've seen everything. Bold Wallace, damn Black Peter, Great Roger. Harpoon Tang, is that anything? Oh, uh, yeah. We'll, we can, we'll keep that in the mix. Great, thanks. <laughs> Black Peter, you say? Black We've heard Peter. rumors about that. Check him and see. He was the worst of them all. Through a it's harpoon right. and he stuck to a tree. Too. Swinging those fists of his around. <laughs> A tyrant and not much of a captain. Swinging At his least, what? Not around. as good as Great oh, Roger. His, his I see. Swinging yes. his, you know, I harpoon was around. Terrible tales about Black Peter. Terrible tale. But you ain't heard the worst. Have a drink. Tell me, and let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. The August of that year, Peter Carey was captain of the Sea Unicorn. And I was a spare okay. harpooner. We were coming okay. out of the ice pack on our way home. One evening, we saw a little craft one evening. blown north. There was only one man on her, and he wasn't a sailor. The crew must uh -oh. have thought that she'd foundered, and they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess they all drowned. We took the man on board. Who was he? And who was he? He's a ghost! I don't know. <laughs> During the crossing, <laughs> he and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage was just a tin box. That's strange enough. Aye. Even stranger was that on the second night, he disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to him. Even stranger course, on the second night. Asked Black Peter he about it. <laughs> You don't know, do you? You know what happened. Oh, you do know. Don't you? I do. I saw the skipper. Tie his heels and I work for an insurance company. Who <laughs> investigated the boat. <laughs> we the Shetland lights. You're not going to believe Black this, Peter's but first murder. it was a squid. Oh, and then I it was spider monsters. It, and then it was mermaids. All right. All I've got left to pay for me drink <laughs> is me time traveling watch. <laughs> Plant pouch, go to toilet.
Why yeah. Couch go okay. To great. Couch <laughs> go to toilet. Great. Oh, you moved to the Kazi. It feels I'll like it should have been plant pouch, and then go to toilet. Go to toilet. Not plant pouch. Go to toilet. <laughs> okay. So are we trying to see if if he? We don't have any reason to say, oh, I found your wallet. But if he already has it, maybe he'll think, oh, this is natural. Yeah, we have to go to the toilet and then come back, maybe. Oh no, I. See. Here it is. I thought we were gonna pretend we found it in the toilet. Oh, I see. That's fun or too. The Toilet. Now we're gonna be like, do you got a smoke? And then if he pulls yeah. it out and he knows it's his. Have you got any tobacco? We've run out of mine. No, I've run out of mine. Pouch. I put it in my curry gold butter container. So the whole thing's creamy delicious, oh, but I can't get it to light. Tobacco pouch. <laughs> what? Oh. oh, it is. Well, let's keep in touch. You know, I feel like we really made a connection. <laughs> let's keep in touch. You know, I don't say this to everybody. I know that it can be a generic thing, but let's just keep in touch. Let's keep in touch. Well, I have to go sure, let's now. Get in a second I know eight. a captain who's planning an expedition to Cape Cod. Captain Ahab's his name. He commanded the Pequot. Doing bits. He might need good harpooners. I'll tell him about you. Hey, B, if you like, I... Oh, I like the having dumbest a thing about that. It's time yeah, to I was going to say, the dumbest thing about that is the proposition that Sherlock has a friend and that he's doing people favors that he's, like, recommending. <laughs> Care to lose another Sherlock's never shilling? passed on a resume in his life. No, are you kidding me? The one time he said he would, it was to pass secret uh, hypnotism juice to somebody else. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've ID'd that guy. Let's see. Can we do anything with that information? Yeah, it's, it's a pretty successful blind date, honestly, all in all. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> uh, Karen's pouch. Karen stated the tobacco pouch belonged to him, which proves he was at the scene of the murder. Yes. Is that linked to breaking attempts to get it back? I don't know, because he made it inside. Oh, yeah, you're right. We could link that back to him. Or we could link it to the missing tin box. He was inside, and therefore he has the box. Yeah, maybe. I was linking back to him. Pouch proves guilt. Pouch proves visit. Karen has confirmed the pouch belongs to him. This means he was at the scene of the murder and proves his guilt. Karen has confirmed the pouch belongs to him. This means he was at the scene of the murder, but did not necessarily prove that he is the murderer. I mean, I guess that Yeah, would... I agree with that. Yeah. Interesting. And I guess we can change these if we like. Later. Okay. You know? Okay. Uh, let's see. Now, this would be a time, I don't know if you already know what you want to do next, but this would be a time where in another Frog Wars game, I would be like, uh, Baker Street, we, we did the thing. Yeah. But we actually have a to-do list in this game. I love a to-do list. Investigate the murder. John Nelligan seems not to be a usual thief. Okay, there's nothing in the to-do list, but my point would normally be proven. No, the tasks are up top. Yeah, but they just say, the, they say the two generic ones. Investigate the murder, and uh, John Nelligan is a weird thief. They don't say anything specific to do. What is his role in all of that? But there's still stuff to look at. Have a bond certificate. Good night, Zach. Happy Friday. Good night, Zach. I hope Happy you like Friday. to talk with that What if you looked up the bond certificate in our research? Ooh, that's a good idea. Have a good weekend, Zach. Oh, I don't have to change back. Oh, this is the... No, no, no. This is the generic outfit. No, no, no. We gotta put our own out. Why do we change back? Oh, because we were in disguise before? Yeah. Gray suit, loud vest. Is that what we're deciding was sort of our favorite? Yeah. Change it up and put the hat oh, on. Oh, no. Trying 
Carolina's left their um, laptop power cord at home. Oh, oh no. no, we're gonna die on you. No. Ask um, somebody for one quick. That's okay. You can watch <laughs> the video. Bye. Yeah, or Bye, you Charlie don't Linus. have to go back and watch it if you don't want to. Yeah. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. My archive. Oh. This is where I keep my post. My archive. You're right, a linguist. I can always a linguist has a keen eye for needed. those <laughs> for those weird little you sound effects. Cairns, and you're Harkoon. right, you do get like one little you horse at the end of the transition. That's like, thanks. Yes. Oh. You met Patrick Cairns, the harpooner. Do you believe he's the man? Oh, I got it. You're watching us on the phone. Okay, got it. Well, thank oh, goodness okay. you'll keep us around. But, oh man, but you won't be able to do anything on your computer, or you'll have a limited amount of time. That's How much is left in your ship? Well, you must have just started, right? Yeah, we could charge your laptop with channel points, we would. Yeah. Seven hours, yeah, you just started. Hi, this Connor guy. Yeah, that's apparently Sherlock's archives. Yeah, that's he was the very proud of it earlier. He was, but when I tried to actually use it, he said he didn't have anything to do with it. Oh. Mr. Holmes. I'm gonna see if I can talk to either of our suspects. Again. Or Lestrade. Is Lestrade uh, in his office? Oh, yes. Hey, uh, I've been working on these new kinds of noses. Which do you like the best? <laughs> So I was thinking maybe get the middle one, sort of a long pointy. <laughs> but a lot of people like the one at the end. <laughs> How is the investigation going, Mr. Ryan? I really want him to turn around and he has like a giant, like, Suno de Bergiac nose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Notice anything? <laughs> okay, well, he's, he's he's got an open door policy, but not helpful at the moment. This is the morgue. We don't have any bodies to look at at the moment, I don't think. Unless, is he in the morgue now? Mm. Who? Oh, no. Uh, Peter Carey. No, he's there. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go try to talk to our suspect, can we? What am I doing well, we have here? a second boot at wrong. the crime scene that's unexplained. Yeah. I'm not saying another word. Okay, well, let's we're gonna interview ourselves. Yeah, what am I? <laughs> <laughs> Got any of them Dick Tracy noses? <laughs> you know, like Pacino War. What a funny guy. So we we know that uh... well, we assume that our some our connection between. The little kid and the guy that died is that the little kid the 19 year old's dad was on a boat that peter picked up please and that he took the box and that the dad is dead question mark yeah i think that the dad being the mysterious guy with the box makes sense and that the box was full. The kid thinks the box was filled with like bonds and securities and all this stuff that was like gonna save them. And there was a torn certificate in there, which indicates like a tontine scenario or something where we'll tear this in half so neither of us can cash it in, but together we can, you know? Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, also, I wonder. Um, so. Uh, I forget what I was going to say. Sorry, go ahead. So we're looking for maybe people to people who knew that that box was there. So yeah. maybe go back to the, the list of the sailors because we talked to one of them. Okay. Can we talk to any of the other? Um, I don't think so. I think we looked at the list and can only talk to that one harpooner. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to see if we miss anything in this conversation. So 
Second night he disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to him. We couldn't ask the captain. I saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night. Two days before we uh -oh. saw the ship in life. Black Peter's a murderer. I and those that know him wouldn't be surprised to hear it. Okay. All right, so he was a murderer. Can't look at those. So we know that the harpoon. We know the harpoonist was at the scene of the crime, or, or that that uh, the murder victim had stolen his pouch at some point. True, that's true. And the notebook was like in the blood, but the tobacco pouch was just on his table, so it, it doesn't really say a time. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um. And also, I like that rather than harpooner, you went with the more musical harpoonist, which I enjoy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, he's an artist of his trade. Yeah, he's an artisan. Huh. Okay. Um. Well, we couldn't look anymore. Maybe let's back go back to Baker Street. Do you have any ideas? to be a deduction we're missing right yeah i was gonna say there's something we have to prove okay liam hurtley's letter i did as you asked and hid them well but i beg you to reconsider remember our vows i've done nothing dishonorable for which okay but he must be talking about hiding the love letters right so yeah can we, can we link this with judith carey's confession yes Harmless flirting or desperate jealousy? Tonight, I'm Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I will be interviewing three <laughs> ladies. Whoops, the game crashed again. Oh no, the game crashed again! At least it's pretty minor since the autosave is pretty good in this game. Yeah. Harmless flirting or flirty harmful? I'm Sherlock Holmes. Do you think we're getting close to a stopping point? Yeah, what do you think? Uh, should we, we, I mean, we just technically hit one since no matter what happened, we had stopped the game. So, yeah. <laughs> we stop now, or do you want to play a little more? What are you uh, feeling? What's going on over here on my desk? <laughs> it's almost impressive how, like, that's a really intense zoom. <laughs> I know, it's a good camera. This is from, uh, this is a Jackbox provided camera from when we were doing some streams. Brag. I know. Um, I'm curious how much is left in this chapter. It feels like we still have a ways before we're going to actually solve this murder, but I feel like we could, I don't know if the individual cases are chapterized, you know? Yeah. Let's open it up again and see. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can just... You're out. Yeah, sure. The fate of Black Peter. Look, I know I'm here on loan from the American police, <laughs> but I think I can be useful <laughs> to Scotland Yard. <laughs> Got a particular set of skills. I'm American Sherlock Holmes. Sure, I love my highways and my automobiles. <laughs> my, my automatic. What was that thing you said? Dishwashers <laughs> or something was like a purely American thing. Yeah, yeah. I jiff peanut butter more than anybody. <laughs> okay, harmless flirting. It has been confirmed that Liam Hurtley was flirting with Peter Carey's wife and even fell in love. But it didn't go beyond the affectionate but harmless letters and words. Depends on what you mean by harmless. Or desperate jealousy, Liam Hurtley loved Judith Carey so desperately that his jealousy could have provoked him into committing murder. He was very, he was seemed like he was begging her to take him back. So I could see desperate jealousy. What do you think? Yeah, it's kind of tricky. Mm. We oh, will you put the game back up so I can... Oops, it. sorry. 
we can change it later if we if we want to. But it didn't go beyond the affection. Love is so desperately that his jealousy could have provoked him into committing murder. I don't think so, actually. That the desperate jealousy thing just doesn't feel right to me. Okay. Let's I'm almost learning it. Okay, if we go with harmless flirting, then we get this. Liam Hurtley's relationship with Judith Carey gives him a motive for killing P Peter Carey or Hurtley's innocence. Hurtley's presence at Woodman Lee's on this night of the murder is explained by his affection towards Judith and the fact that he worked there as a guard. Yeah, I mean, that does. Ex I think that explains it. I think that this murder has more to do with the missing documents than his love life. Yes, I agree. Okay, so that's, we can change it later if we want, but that's, yeah, Hartley's innocence is now a, a node. Um, <laughs> and these are his stories. <laughs> <laughs> I also like press A to activate imagination. <laughs> uh, okay, was that all we can do in here? Let's see, feet of strength. Yep. Out proves visit. Retrieving the notebook. That was just one thing. Break and attempts were made in order to recover the notebook. This proves the guilt of the person who made those attempts. Pouch proves visit. If I change this to pouch proves guilt, do we get another note? No. Although it sort of shows you where where it will go. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well, I don't think there's anything else in here yet that we can do. Um, nothing that, like, comes to mind. I mean, this game's about eight years old, and the models look great. Yeah, I think the it looks it looks gorgeous. Yeah. You met Patrick Cairns, the harpooner. Do you believe he's the murderer? Mm. My analysis table. It is useful for my work. My archive. I can always consult with it mm. if needed. Hmm. I was trying to see if I could figure out if this was like, we were close in the chapter, but I didn't see it right away, so I don't want to do too much digging. Okay. Oh, you know what? Maybe we should go tell Nelligan, the kid, that we think his dad was murdered by, by Harry. Oh, yeah. Except like, didn't he say he didn't want to talk to us? Yeah. yeah, but maybe now that we know this information. What am I doing? Yeah, you're right. I've done nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying another word. Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? What if we talk to... We asked the policeman to pass him a note for us. Did you just tell him I think he's innocent? Yeah, do you think, I feel like I, would you get you car sick in a horse-drawn carriage? I think yet? I would, trying to read a book in a horse-drawn carriage. Yeah, probably. Also, it's gotta be hot in there. I don't know, it's, it's so bumpy, though. Maybe, like, your brain doesn't even have time to just, like, settle. So maybe you don't get as nauseous. Let's see if we missed anything. Okay, here we go. Break in attempts and missing. No, they don't go together. Okay, right. So, and that's not it. Well, it's possible. Did you do we... any science? No, I checked the table. It's possible that we have a bad deduction here, and that's what's stopping us. Okay. Some of the facts may be interpreted differently. You can always change the picture of a crime by choosing between mutually exclusive deduction. Draw a clear picture by forming a deduction. Back down again. 
Well, maybe he really Why are some of them blue and some of them half and half? I think it indicates that we could go back and change. Like, the one that's all blue, we can't change it. It's just one fact. The one that's half and half, okay. there are two different interpretations. Okay. What if, what if he desperately did love her? Let's try that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Connor guy, I think that's what happened to me. I'd get extra barfy. I think I would too. And again, it's hot in there. Okay, well, I changed it to giving him a motive, but that didn't open anything up. Although this is red. Does that mean something's wildly wrong? Is it red? Yeah, doesn't red mean it's wrong? I think we learned that before. Did we? Isn't that in the tutorial? No. Yeah, what did that say? What? Oh, yeah. You had red, it. Red color highlight. Logical conflict, I can say. I see. I see. Okay, yeah, because I said he was in love with her, but it wasn't a motive, which I guess is conflict. Okay, that didn't get us anywhere. I mean, we could change this to Lucky Throw? Does that open anything up? <gasps> oh, I see. Okay. If, if we say he has a motive and we think it was a lucky throw, we can say Hurtley is guilty. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's not right. Oh, and we could end it right here if we wanted to. Liam Hurtley is guilty. He murdered Peter Carey. Hurtley has been found guilty. Condemn Hurtley or absolve Hurtley? Oh, oh, right, I forgot. I forgot this mechanic. So once you figure out who you think did it, you can also choose whether to tell anybody. Whoa. So we could also say his mind was clouded by his love. This murder was a crime of passion. Oh, well, I guess it does say we still tell the law. Okay, but this we don't believe in this, right? He must be punished for his... So how are those two different? I think it's one is like, this guy's oh, terrible. I say... and the other one is like, well, he's okay, but we should still tell him. Yeah, well, if his mind was clouded, then he can, like, it's manslaughter, it's not murder. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Interesting. I don't believe this. this no, story. but I don't, no, I don't think so. Okay, so that's actually interesting. So that means that we were pretty much right with feet of strength. You know, we could turn this all back now. We were right with harmless flirting. Yeah. We were right with Hartley's innocence. Pouch proves does prove visit, or maybe pouch proves guilt. If pouch proves guilt, I don't know. Wait, what did that say? Go back. Pouch proves guilt. Parents has confirmed the pouch belongs to him. That means he was at the scene of the murder and proves his guilt. Or he's confirmed the pouch belongs to him, which means he's at the scene of the murder, but doesn't necessarily prove he's the murderer, which I, I think is more. That's what I think is true. Okay, I'll put that back. Um. I think we have to find that we have to find that case before until we find the chest. I won't be, I won't feel good in my Sherlock heart about <sighs> abusing anyone. Okay, let's go back and use our imagination on that chest again. <gasps> up your imagination. Guess what? I just put on flex. Actually, it's not up there yet, but. <gasps> Willy Wonka. Yeah. That. that movie always, always scared me. I don't have like the fondness I think some people have. I just like never, I didn't like watching it as Oh, wow, okay. It actually, I mean, it scared me too, but it did, you didn't have a fond, scary experience. No, I mean, I wasn't like, you know, I don't have a bad experience with it, but I wasn't like, I'm so excited to watch Willy Wonka. No, it was right. just like that movie's disturbing. Gene Wilder is- Let's watch more Columbo, which is about murder. <laughs> He's Gene Wilder's legit scary in it. Yeah, he's also really it's it's a performance. It's a good performance. It holds oh, up. Absolutely. He went all in. Oh wait, the chest is open now. Why was oh. this not open before? Was it open before? Okay, we got Peter Carey's boots. Peter Carey's oh, so now we can test them against the other. Mm-hmm. We have, I wish I could take this hat. 
We have navigation tools. Oh, navigation instruments. Thank you, Ryan. Now you're thinking like a real detective. Yes, yes. Because, you know, before, sometimes I have to really push you to think about what hats you can and can't take. <laughs> right. But now, you just instinctively were like, Ashley, I know what you're going to ask. I wish I could take this hat, but I can't. <laughs> I know, I know. And I just want to say <laughs> that you've trained me so well, and I appreciate it. <laughs> Doesn't fit. These boots don't match the footprints. Hmm, they're not made for walking. So we still have a mysterious man in the in the figure in the picture if we right if we don't believe that hartley did it then we have to show that peter cairns or somebody else's boots match those prints although wait a minute it's okay if, if his boots are there this could just be him because he worked there the boots may not be related exactly to and there's two sets of prints are there so we decided one was hurley's we decided and then now we're trying to figure out what the other uh prints are and so we know it's not kyrns i think there are is only one set of prints. or carrie are you I sure because remember when you measured the one boot and then it said something like great and then there it came up and it was like but it doesn't fit this boot or something no it just said you need more evidence which is like to me, it means later you'll find something you can use on this. And what we found was later we found Peter's boots and we ruled him out. You know what I mean? I think it was only one set of tracks, but we needed to do two things with it. But I'm not 100% sure. Okay. So we tried the boots. Can we can we now uh, deduce anything based on that? Blue. No, I guess, I guess I didn't crave justice being done to evil children. I guess when you say it that way, no, that never happened. But I understand why you would. Oh no, your internet. Man, you have so much, many struggles with your internet. Are your lights still flickering? I'm sorry. I no. hope not. <laughs> Leave me alone, please. Oh, right, we're gonna do the imagination. Okay. Come with me. And you'll see the world of Sherlock Holmes' imagination. Hmm. Explanation. That, that tracks that you were a little baby Croti robot. Old navigation instruments. Yeah. Nothing interesting. Yeah, I bet that's true. Blue Rolls. Absolutely. Underrated. Never heard that particular cover, but. Yeah, if you want to do. Okay. Um, well, what do you think, Ash? What would we do next? Green all means that we're done with it, I think. Anything coming up green, I'm not really paying a ton of attention to. We look for more Sherlock uh, instinct clues here. We can't talk to the wife again? No, at least not without more information. We wouldn't say anything to her. Anything else back here? So who else would have known that the box was there? The gardener may have known because he was working on the pro- Oh! Look at that little- <gasps> Oh, wait, that was the scratches. We've done that before. That's the scratches. They tried to get in with a knife. Okay. And we know that What's-His-Butt boy did try to get in with a knife. We also know that his notebook was in the blood. And yet we found no, like, brain deductions that he's guilty at all. Yeah. Leave me alone, please. Can I go behind the house? Well, it must. It must be one of other some one of his other sailor buddies. Yeah, or the it could it could be that guy, the guy you know, Cairns. But we haven't um. 
I don't have enough evidence to accuse him yet. I guess. Unless we got something set up wrong. Can you go to your research? Go back to your archives. Okay. I've tried recently, but we have done stuff before or since that. So. If you want a few advertise. I can see you as a mic, Anne. Yeah, for the same. Very chill. Down for I skits. I like to think of myself as a servo. I'm wearing the shirt. I sing a lot. I'm overly confident. My archive. <laughs> I can always consult with it if my archive. This is where I keep my post. Okay, we're missing something that tells us what what the next thing is, right? So we like didn't make so maybe we didn't make a deduction. We didn't do a science. Maybe we had to talk my to Watson. Table. It is you met Patrick Cairns, the harpooner. Do you believe he's the murderer? No. Murder. Do we ask Toby to do something? I don't think so. Let's try again. Brave. I mean, our harpooner is very strong. The British Empire. I mean, maybe it's, it's the harpooner. He was definitely there. At some point, we know that much. Sexy. But why would he tell us the whole story, incriminating of himself? In the surrounding area, it could be useful. I mean, he didn't know that we knew all the other information. He didn't tell us anything about going there and killing the guy. I just gave herself a motive. Yeah. Interesting. What are those? Hmm. Sorry, what are you saying? What's those little exclamation points? It means there's new information. I think it was Patrick here. So uh, Patrick mm -hmm. Norris is an experienced harpooner facing unemployment poverty. We found in the Sea Witch, public house deemed popular by sailors who meet arm wrestles for money. Like many of his kind, he's a heavy smoker indicated by his yellowed Okay. All the stuff we could reread. You know, it's weird to me that if we go in our mind palace, uh, we have two left over. We can't connect these two, though. So it feels like we're missing, like, two more, you know? Yeah. The several unsuccessful attempts were made to break in according to the scratches around the lock. They had been there had been a tin box in the cabin not much longer larger than a book. Peter Carey had forbidden anyone from touching it. Yeah, we're missing like yeah. This whole branch of the investigation. Yeah. Wait, can we do that now? No, okay. I can't switch to Watson. First I was gonna be like, this menu is available. <gasps> Move camera, perform action, open case book. Okay, so I know all. You met Patrick Cairns, the harpooner. Do you believe he's the murderer? Hmm. I mean, I do like that we're deducing here and trying to like, like, it's like, yeah, but you can go anywhere you want. Yeah. We have to talk to somebody else about that. Feels like there's a clue we're not finding at the house. Okay. But you you looked in your imagination. I looked in my imagination, but I can always look again. Can we go talk to the kid now again? That's oh, you tried to do that already. Holmes. Yeah, I did, but I'll try again. Uh, Mr. Holmes? You never know. What's this? What's this office? Staff room? No. What if I um look at the evidence again? These are yeah. The oh, that's a good idea. Longings. This is a pen. Nothing unusual about it. That's the, that's the gardener, right? That's the gardener. Oh, this is white. An elegant blonde. These are the suspect's belongings. Oh right, we have to look at this again for the abbreviation CPR. I wonder if these are connected. Oh. 
Because we found the thing. Okay. Now we have the proof. Yeah, the so there's a list of all the bonds. Indeed here. It seems that they have vanished, however. Okay, that helped. Yeah, now go to your mind map. Ah! Missing papers, missing tin box. Uh, or else yes. you break, break and attempts missing papers. Probably missing tin box. Missing papers. papers. Yeah, Paper I agree. Eat of strength. Stolen valuable papers. Valuable bond certificates were inside the box. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, valuable papers and retrieving the notebook. John Nelligan could have been caught stealing the bond certificates. This might have been a motive for him to murder Peter Carey. It's not. But it's not, because I bet that could work if this was a lucky throw, but... Yeah. Okay. But now we should okay. talk to him again, right? Yeah, this makes sense, because now we're, like, going through... We're eliminating suspects. Yes, it does. Please escort uh -huh. this suspect for interrogation. I'm going to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, what exactly were you hoping to find inside Peter Carey's cabin? I, I... I was trying to find some information about my father. Because he is the knife, so we're gonna, like, also eliminate clues. Bond certificate. Yeah. I assume you had another purpose, to retrieve the bond certificates. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah, I that. discovered some time ago that a few of the missing securities had reappeared on the London market. You can imagine my amazement. I spent months trying to find them. And at last, I discovered that the original seller had been Captain Peter Carey. Robbed him. These papers, they belong to my family. But I could not find them there. This kid is doing some top-level investigating. Well, if he, like, looked the soon, serial man. numbers of the bonds were, like, posted in the newspaper or something. Yeah. I'm not saying... I'm not saying another word. We tried this already. No, we didn't actually. Breaking attempts, missing papers. There we go. Okay, retrieving the notebook. The break-in attempts were made in order to recover the notebook that had been lying in a pool of victim's blood. This proves the guilt of the person who made those attempts. Or looking for papers. Nelligan was looking for his father's papers inside Black Peter's cabin and explains his presence at the scene of the murder. I think that's probably what it is. Uh, uh, no, well, we caught him going back to the scene of the crime. I think he was going back to the scene of the crime to pick up his notebook. But he said he was going to the scene of the crime to find the bond certificate. But his notebook was in there. His notebook was in the blood when we found the body, right? And that was before we saw him break into the scene of the crime. Yeah, I think it's so. The first of... time, the first time he went in there for the bond certificates, the second time he went in for the, his notebook, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I buy that. But I don't know uh, which one they're asking about right now. Okay, but that gave us this. Nel uh, Nelligan's motive. He could have been caught stealing the bond certificates. This might have been motive for him to murder Peter Carey with a very lucky harpoon throw. Or John Nelligan is a victim of circumstance. He doesn't fit the portrait of the murderer, either by physical or psychological description. I agree that. He's okay. too weak. It's a feat of strength. I know. But see, then we get the red. So I think this does have to, in fact, be looking for the papers. I think that you're kind of saying the right thing, but I feel like they want us to say it's this. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, th I agree. So Nelligan's innocent. So it seems like we're missing something about Karen still. We have to get around to Karen's being the guilty one if it's only these three. Alch Cruz guilt? There we go. Now, we could... No, so let's just see what this says. Cairns is guilty. Peter Carey was murdered by Patrick Cairns. Cairns is a professional harpuno, harpooner. His tobacco pouch was found inside the cabin. Patrick Cairns is a cold-blooded murderer. He's been found guilty of the murder of Peter Carey and was punished. Or, Patrick Cairns killed Carey, but the murder was, the murder was not premeditated. It was in self-defense against an armed and irrational drunken sailor. It fits, but is there anything else we haven't done? It feels like no. I feel like we've done everything, but like... 
It still feels like a little bit of a guess, huh? Yeah. I mean, Karen's definitely has the lowest motive. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of true. Like, why? I mean, I, other than he was going to get the papers, you know? How was the investigation yeah. going, Mr. Holmes? Do you have any idea who the murderer is yet? But he's also the only person that probably could have killed Peter that way. He's the only person we know about that we've been able to talk to that could throw a harpoon. Or, you know. Yeah. Uh, he's the... His tobacco was there. How did it get there otherwise? Yeah. Um, the gardener has a motive to kill him, but he didn't know anything about the papers, so why are the papers stolen? Or Harpoon Omar. <laughs> right, exactly. The gardener has the motive, but but uh, not the means. And the kid has the motive, but it doesn't seem like he stole the papers because he's like still looking for them. Exactly, and also, um, uh, it's, it makes sense that if he had at some point broken in and didn't find the paper, but he could have broken in, seen the body, and been like, whoa, and dropped his notebook. Yeah, and then realized he dropped it and had to go back. What am I doing here? I'm, I'm not. Although it's, I feel like it's weird that we didn't get a better opportunity to like confront him on that. Also, we didn't, can we even make it say that he's guilty? We haven't made him say that it's guilty. We can. Uh, if we say lucky throw, and looking for retrieving notebook, Motive. Oops. And the game crashes. Oh no! Well, I don't know. Maybe that's a good place to stop. We could figure out next time who uh, who we think is guilty. Or do you want to stop big finish? We go all in on Cairns and see what happens. I think we need to decide who did it now because okay. I we won't oh, I won't remember it well enough by the time we do next week. Okay. Then let's go back and just do it. And we can always replay cases. But I'm really curious nice. what the chat thinks, who the chat thinks is guilty. Is right. it the harpoonist, the kid, or the gardener? Or somebody that we failed to meet, maybe. Or like his wife. You know, like it could, I guess, be something we didn't, we overlooked, you know? Yeah. Unreal. I don't know. It's so it's so interesting that you can force it to go anyway. Yeah, that's I think that's what's fun about this, right? Because it's like Yeah. Okay, here's the evidence. What do you think is the strongest evidence? Oh right. Salem's played it, so Salem remembers who they think it is. Um I wish I had a better motive yeah. for Cairns. I know. Uh, it comes down to, like, that harpoon moment. Like, I guess Sherlock isn't that strong, except Sherlock beat him in an arm wrestle. But, like, Sherlock harpooned the pig. But that luck, I mean, that would be an insane amount of luck. It would be, and also if you if you went there planning to kill him, I mean you wouldn't you'd bring a gun, you know. I mean it's like, yeah, yeah. Anne's right. If he has the bonds, why is, isn't he cash them in? But like, I guess if he has the bonds, he only has half the bonds because we have the other half. So maybe he can't cash it in for that reason. It yeah, was there only one bond left. Well, it also seems like. The kid seems yeah. to imply that the bonds are being distributed into the market. So, like, yeah. uh, what's his name? Peter was used with spending them. So there wasn't much left. Right. So 
So maybe, and the only person who could have the other half would be Carnes, because he was on the ship. So maybe there's some deal on the ship where, like, yeah, because it, it's the fact that what's his face was trying to break back in. I mean, yes, he was trying to get his notebook back, but it also kind of, in a, in a way, proves that he didn't do it because if he got what he wanted, it would be a lot safer to not come back. You know? Yeah, exactly. I forget what happens. I forget if they let you, if they tell you if you're right right away. But I don't believe the motive, I don't believe the other two had enough of a motive. I mean, I believe that there's a motive with the kid, but he's too weak to throw a harpoon. And like, they made a big point about that at the beginning. Yeah. This guy's like, his and job I is to throw harpoons around. And the kid, uh, the kid just wants to get... Yeah, the kid just wants to get that money. I mean, he could want to revenge his father's death, but I feel like he doesn't quite know the deal with his father's death yet either. Yeah. He knows that that guy ended up with a bunch of the bonds, and I'm sure he's like made some logic leaps, but. Oh, wait, LB is conclusions. What is that? Oh, I guess these are these are conclusions we've reached in the past. So let's see. If we. Maybe. Can we put this back just to. Nebulon's motive, Nelligan's motive. Uh, looking, retrieving the notebook. Oh. Oh, lucky. Pouch doesn't. The pouch. If we do that one. John Hopley Nelligan murdered Peter Carey. This is proven by his dishonesty and the fact that he was seen at the murder. John Hopley Nelligan has been found guilty. He must be punished by the law. Or John Nelligan is a victim of circumstance. His childhood was overshadowed by the loss of his father. He always dreamed of a reunion to find out what happened. He made a poor decision and so fell into trouble. Yeah, I mean, if we were going to pick this, I would pick to not... I would pick X or whatever. Right. All that right, he's now, a little bit of a victim of circumstance. Because his... That guy clearly murdered his dad and took right. all of his family's money. And I'm not... I don't believe in a tit-for-tat legal system, but... <laughs> no. I'm not sure if... I, I think Sherlock Holmes does, so I think Sherlock Holmes would be like, you can let him go. <laughs> you also don't believe in a crested tit for crested tat legal system, do you? No, I don't. Okay. No, I, I do. don't. Mm -mm. You know mm -hmm, I do. Mm -hmm. And that's why yeah. we clash. Yeah, I agree. Um, okay, so it looks like now that we've figured out the conclusions, we can change them at will. We have Hurtley is guilty. The motive was jealousy and his love for Carrie's wife. And we I don't we... think so. Because I also think that she's like not that into him. So I feel like... Maybe. I don't know. She's but she doesn't... She doesn't... She doesn't love her husband that much. No. And I mean, so... She seemed yeah. into him in the letter, but she was just sort of like, sorry, am I, I'm married. But I don't know, maybe she was just being nice. But she's crying when she found out Hurtley was in trouble. She didn't cry much when her husband died. That's true. But also, she's like, hide the letters, and he's like, okay, I'll hide the letters. So it's not... He wasn't like, let's confront the husband and run away together. You know what I mean? I feel like this, like... Yeah, that's true. He, he wouldn't murder the husband. He was like, he's like following along with this plan of just like being with her and, you know, behind his back. Agreed. Uh, okay. We have Karen's is guilty. Karen's is a professional harpooner, harpooner and his tobacco pouch was found. Doesn't even really mention motive there. Nelligan is guilty. This is proven by his dishonesty and the fact that he was at the scene of the crime. What do you mean dishonesty? What's that about? Because when he originally said we, originally, when we caught him, he's like, oh, I don't know anything about it. And then he's like, okay, I was trying to break it. Oh, yeah. Well, Karen's right. I think. The only thing that's make, that's making me hesitant is that whole exchange with the arm wrestling was weird. Where he was like, let me tell you the story about how I have motive to murder a man. <laughs> and then... Yeah. I mean, the story was more he about was like, motive. He was like, oh, I dropped my tobacco thing somewhere. 
I don't know. He seems like he's bad at this. He does seem bad at it. Because it seems like it, he wasn't the one breaking, trying to break in as far as we know. And it, it was, it, especially because it seems like like the, the tool that was, the break-in tool was the pocket knife that Nelligan had and he wasn't good at it. Because he didn't, it was hard yeah. to get in. And he made a lot of scratches. Whereas Arpooner guy wasn't trying to break in because he didn't, he didn't know where he left his pouch. Because yeah. He's like, I just left it somewhere. Oh, here it is. Which means he must not have been caring much about the thing. So that makes me think it wasn't Ken. But it's still the best suspect, right? As Anne points out. We're out of clues, right? So you why did... All why did... Oh, okay. This is good to know. We have found so... all the clues we can possibly find. Okay, so there's not like a fourth person we don't know about. No. Why, why Why? did Karen's go there in the first place? Or was he just there? Were they just like drinking or something? We don't know. They did, because, it was yeah. two glasses of rum. Um, That's true, two sailors. You know what else we keep forgetting, though? At the very beginning, mm -hmm. and maybe we should look back through our evidence, because I think this was in the evidence. It's Holmes specified he wasn't surprised. He was fully dressed, and he was with somebody yeah. he knew. Which would have been Karen. He knew. Yeah, it definitely wouldn't have been the kid. It would, could have been the gardener. Right. It could have been the gardener. But that would be weird. Right. Karen seems like too good a suspect. He just happens to lose his pouch, but didn't realize it was at the murder scene. It makes more sense it was stolen and planted. Oh, can't like yeah. Really we also might just be overthinking this. Progress. I do think we are. But that... But that works both ways. I think Frogware sometimes, like, yeah, is sometimes, yeah, Frogware sometimes has logic leaps that don't make any sense. Um, let's look at our evidence. Nelligan's story proven. A member, a number of the bond certificates were, uh, oh, sorry, a number of the bond certificates with which Nelligan's father disappeared were in Peter Carey's cabin. So he is okay. trying. To, it, he, we proved that he is looking for that because it was there. I guess. Boots don't match. Peter Carey's boots don't match the footprints. That means that there was another man at Woodman's League. Concealed murder. Peter Carey was trying to conceal the murder of John Nelligan's father. Romantic correspondence. Uh, romantic correspondence between Liam Hurtley and Judith Carey it was found inside the small wooden box hidden in the garden shed. I know. Well, me too, Anne. Karen's a smoker. Patrick Karen's is a professional harpooner. Like many sailors, he's a heavy smoker, as his yellow fingers indicate. The story of August 1883. Patrick Cairns told the story of how, in August 1883, he had observed Peter Carey throwing a man overboard. The man had been saved from the sea only the previous night. The man was obviously Joshua Nelligan. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Trailer. I think, um, I feel like, um, uh, Oberdin was, was close on that front in terms of being clever. Um, Hurtley's boots match the footprints at Woodman's League. According to Hurtley's letter, in his own words, he hid something at the spot where the garden tools are kept. He's a gardener at Woodman's Lee, so I should definitely conduct a search. We already did that. The letter seized from Hurtley. A portion of the text was successfully recovered. A heavy, a heavy and sharp whaling harpoon. It is the same harpoon as the one used to murder Peter Carey. Stranger arrested by the police. Former soldier who left the military after being wounded. Interesting. He's wounded on the neck, though, so it probably wouldn't affect his harpoon throwing. Yeah. Uh, now lives a quiet life working as a gardener. Piece of stock exchange certificate belonging to the Canadian Pacific Railway. It was found inside the Sea Unicorn ship logs for August 1883, where the page had been torn out. Where did they say they tied the dad up? Uh, they threw him off the rails of the ship, I think. Did they tie his ankles, you said? Um... Uh, it doesn't say here, but I think they did say it. Let's see. Uh, in here. Is it possible that the gardener is actually the kid's dad? Oh. Even Stranger was uh, on the second night disappeared. Nobody knew, but okay, but you knew. I saw the skipper tie his heels. 
and push him over the rail mm -hmm. in the middle of my watch. I mean, that's, that could be ankle. Right. Um. I still think it's Carnes. Yeah, probably right. I just think who else is gonna? Who else could physically kill him? Right. Up our... What's that garden? What's the garden one say next to the notebook? Well kept garden. Capable gardener works here. Okay. Cairns? Yeah. Okay. Condemn Cairns. He's a cold blooded murderer, he's been found guilty or. Terrence killed Carrie, but the murder was not premeditated. It was in self-defense against an armed and irrational drunken sailor. No, because we know that he didn't have time to use his knife. You're right. Right? Yeah. You're right. Condemn? So, a, a, condemn. We're locking it in. Ready? Ready. Confirm your moral choice. <laughs> Gosh! Yeah, A. Uh, yay, yeah, uh, we're judge and jury. I wonder what happens if we're wrong. I know I played this, but I don't really remember oh, how, no. uh, what the consequences are. The carriage is going to explode. The next day. Cthulhu, we didn't consider Cthulhu! What? If you wouldn't mind, Mr. Holmes, yeah, could you too. explain it to me? As I informed you on our way here, Patrick Cairns is the murderer of Black Peter. Cairns. Why bring me here? Wouldn't it be better if we were out looking for him? That would be futile, as he will be with us in approximately 12 seconds. Oh, oh well, if this is your <laughs> idea of humor... <laughs> ah, ah. No, I just heard the front door. Prepare yourself. Day, gentlemen. Prepare yourself. A young lad gave me a Did note you prepare yourself? Captain Ahab. Am I at the right address? Is he here? Oh. Indeed, it is the correct address. But in place of your captain, may I present to you Inspector Lestrade of Scotland Yard? That means. It means, my friend, that you are arrested for the murder of Black Peter. What? what? Lestrade just took it wholesale. You think you could take me? Yeah. Here now. We'll have none of that. And I say that oh. we will. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know the controls. Fisticuffs. Oh, I got fun. Oh. Can I dodge? <sighs> I don't know how to do this game. Do you want to help? Uh, oh, no. F1. I'm dead now. Oh, did I... Closed. Did I lose? What? I, I don't get to try again? Oh, did he escape? Yes, unfortunately. Well, maybe you should have told me to have some police here. Oh, I thought here. you were good at boxing, Mr. Holmes. Apparently, there's still room for improvement, eh? How's your jaw, it's true. Inspector? Oh, it's fine. Mr. Holmes, all this is your fault. You yeah. should have warned me. <laughs> I would have come with reinforcements. If that yes. had been the case, then Cairns wouldn't have come here. Well, maybe. Maybe. I'm going now, Mr. We Holmes. got disguises too, Holmes. I could put a guy, two sailor outfits, a pretty lady, maybe a fancy businessman. <laughs> okay, interesting. Uh, Peter Carey was murdered by Patrick Cairns, a professional, the only one capable of executing him. He is a cold blooded murderer. You have decided to bring him to justice. So we can either accept our decision, choose another ending, or. Hold the the start button to check our conclusion, which may spoil the game oh. experience. I think at the very least we should choose another ending to see if I can get that win that boxing match and do the same one again. Okay, yeah. Still pick it as him, but have a yeah. but box him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I Let's thought it that. was gonna let me 
box. Maybe he has to, he always escapes. I don't know, you know? Yeah, well, I kind of thought maybe he did always escape. It's possible. Maybe it is similar controls to the arm wrestling. No, there's nothing, uh, like I have to move a reticle, you know what I mean? There's no, um, there's, it's not the same, uh, setup, I don't think. Oh, my lights just went off. That means time to go to bed. Okay, one more boxing match with the murder, and then we'll go to bed. If you wouldn't mind. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that seems fair. Here now, we'll have none of that. And I say oh. that we will. My hands smell like Close. pancakes and maple syrup from those jelly beans. Please! Okay. Okay, I see. Yep, I see what I'm doing. I was using the wrong button. Oh, you were using your imagination button? Yep. Boom! <gasps> Good night, Gracie. Oh, oh man, just right. let me bust one guy's jaw. Oh, my jaw. Gore. Gore. He took me by surprise, Mr. Holmes. Otherwise, he would have seen what I'm capable of. Oh. Yeah, of course. Yes, he was lucky. Yeah. Ah. yeah. But you got him. It was remarkably easy. He lost his balance. I just used my time, Turner. Him. And you practice oh, boxing, I know. Sherlock is you never that generous. Know. This is a well, different fair, man. No doubt. <laughs> Hmm. We should call for a police cab and then take you to the hospital. Yes. He's well, being a dick still. No need for a hospital. I would prefer to keep this between us. <clears throat> you know. Of course, Inspector. The case is closed. The case is closed. Okay. Now, I, I think that we, there is a chance that if we know if we're right or wrong here, that maybe they would try to surprise us later by revealing it. But I'd like to end by knowing if we're me too. At least this chapter. Like, this maybe chapter. we don't have to do it every time, right. but I want to know, like, moving forward, how right we are, or else I'm going to second guess every closed. single time we ever made. Yes, exactly. Closed. Case closed. Okay, are you ready to know if you've condemned a guilty, innocent man? Yes. Oh, is it not this? Terrence is guilty. It's green. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we're great at this game. We did it. It's a regular speed run. We did it. Speed run! You're about to finish the case. The save files for this case will be removed. Press no if you'd like to select another moral choice. Press yes if you agree with the choice you've made. Okay. We... Your ranking. Personality ranking justice seeker. Case statistics. Oh. Oh, interesting. 81% of people Good, the good, same good. Way. Yes, all good content. But 40 made yes. the same moral choice. So in other words, more people chose to like absolve him than condemn him. What? Did they not see how gruesome that murder was? Yeah, I guess. Maybe maybe there's some people are like assuming he was just a guy who was drunk like, and self defense. Drunk. Yeah, right. Maybe we're who knows? Or maybe more people are like, well, he was also a murderer, so it's a he did, the, he did society a favor. Oh, he did society a favor. Mm, yeah. Okay, well, we have to just get after this. We'll hit a save, and then this we'll... This trip to the countryside will be good for you, Holmes. Are mm. we sketching a sassy little... And your doctor. ...human over there? I'd recommend that you give down. yourself a complete we unlock the hat. change of scene. Fresh air, yes. brisk walks... Yes, 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 yes! <gasps> Sounds in We're going into the fresh air. I mean... We're going to... There's going to be murder to country estate. Delightful. Yes. But you haven't yet told me who your friend is. The one we're going to visit. Yes, you're right! He is a bee lover. A bee lover? Do you mean that he keeps bees? That must be Mrs. Oh my Hudson, god, I love this game so much. the warm cloth that I requested. There is someone to see you, Mr. Holmes. He's a bee lover. I have no time. I mean it Send differently. It is away. He comes out yes, in a full really beekeeper suit. Beef now. <laughs> All by bees. Can we reveal Moriarty? No, our brother. Uh, Sherlock. Oh, uh, Mr. Holmes? Perhaps you don't remember me. I'm Dr. Watson. Uh, 
We met at the Diogenes Club a few years ago. I documented our encounter in a short story. I gave the title really The Greek Watson, Interpreter. You're coming off really desperate. He does remember you, Watson. My brother remembers everything, and that is why he is so valuable to the government. We are about to depart for the train station. I know. You know? <laughs> Sherlock. I love this I Mycroft. I love the, all of these characters. people who presently threaten both our country and the crown itself. He's like modeled after Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> methods of yours. <laughs> Need help. Those are not words I would readily associate with you, Mycroft. <laughs> the far away you, looks like Dan Aykroyd. You did not reply. Up close is and this sort is of not like... about politics. It's about people. It's sort of People Stephen Fry. similar to those whom you yeah. pretend to defend in your petty detective affairs. Stephen Fry was Mycroft in Everything is about politics something. with you, was it Mycroft. The Robert Downey I'm not was? interested. Have some of your agents, your spies, or he was, worse, he was undertake this job of yours. You are defending your people, Maybe. and they have little to do with the people I choose to help. He does look like Sam Adams. You. That is the point. Yeah, yeah, right. You think exactly as they do. Who are they? The Merry Men. He is talking about the Merry Men, a band of idealistic terrorists. Okay, thanks, Laura. Sherlock, do please Sherlock. think about it. They are planning I don't know, he also has a bit of like Your a... Your country needs you. You need me, my um... prophet, and you are not the country. Although, if your waistline expands very much Why am further... I... Oh! This is Hudson. Tea will oh! not work. <laughs> ah, tea! Dr. Watson. Uh... The train conductor, Mr. Parker, is aware that you will be seven minutes late. You are in the fourth car. The train will be waiting for you. Sherlock, enjoy your time in Staffordshire. And do please at least write to me on your return. Okay, so I think that ended with, let me, ooh. Oh, a souvenir, we kept the harpoon. Oh. Can you hang it? Is it up somewhere? Yeah. You see it? There was there used to, there was one above one of our bedrooms, yeah. remember? In one of the yeah, games. Yeah, you're right. It's there now. Yes. Um. Okay. Did that end with us saying we didn't want to help Minecraft yet? And he's like, "Well, think about it later." I think we are gonna help. Okay. Uh. You need me, Minecraft. Miss Hudson T will not be necessary. Oh yeah, he did sort of say he would help. Let's see. That Mycroft was like Alan Rickman meets uh, Oliver Platt. <laughs> That's who it was in my head. Okay. It was weird because I thought he was saying this would interrupt our trip, but I think maybe it's just we're on. It's on the same place. I don't know. I think so. Okay. Let's save here before we get too excited. Or I guess we hopefully have auto saved. Too late, I'm already so excited. Let's see. I wonder if I go into into change clothes mode if it'll just Oh, I love that we unlocked the hat. When we go to the country, we're gonna need that hat. I know. The Staffordshire. Okay, well I'm just gonna assume that it's Man. I'm excited. I love, I love that we get like a Mike, uh, country mystery, and we get we're like making Mycroft mad. I love all of it. Right? What do you think so far? I love it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Well, cool. Um, thanks everybody. Uh, we appreciate you as always coming to play with us. We appreciate everybody's enthusiasm and snacks, and we will see you all. And next week for part two of Crimes and Punishments. The best Happy Snack Pack. Where's Homes game, as far as we know. Yeah! Oh, I forgot to use my little sign. What?